Welcome to the Creative Playing Podcast Network. Join us as we review our favorite RPGs, collectible card games, MMOs, video games, PC games, and bring up interesting topics and things that we'd like to share with everyone. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, assigned to Ragnarok Story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Basically, Imperial forces have attacked your freighter. They basically infiltrated by coming in a ship full of droids that was coming to give you more droids for your crew. It was actually full of Imperial troopers and stormtroopers. It was bad. The takeover happened quick. You guys were, were so quickly taken out of commission, you don't even know what happened. You just know you're waking up all in the car buckle together. So your choices are L8BR, which is the simple but brawny labor bot. As, as you can see that uh, labor... APR is all about taking a beating and uh, it doesn't go down. He's really good at hitting things and really good at taking a beating. And he basically, as soon as he picks up his first pipe as a club, it will be an insanely lethal weapon. Or his knuckles. He can he can box stormtroopers out. That's his thing. So he's big, dumb, and strong. Let's take a beating. Then we've got H4MO, the skillful and dr- dangerous medical joy. Basically, he's good with knives, doctor, and uh, he's got he's got knowledge skills. So he's kind of the, the thinker of the group. So he's good when it comes to medicine, which for you guys as a whole won't really matter, but it might be helpful to save somebody if people are dying, like say the Imperials or douchebags that start taking the air out of the ship. And he's okay with mechanics, so he can repair you guys, but his main specialty is melee, which he's really good at with his knife, his thermal cutter, his stealthy vibro knife, and his flash stick, which is basically like a stun baton. You just touch somebody, you go, basically his his built-in anesthetic. Then we've got A5TR0, Astro. That's the plucky astromech droid who's an engineer mechanic. He basically will suck in almost every fight. Whatever he's good at, he's really good at. Everything else, he's in. He can, he can put up a decent fight if he has to, but he's really not combat related. He's basically all computers, hacking, R2-D2 style. Then we've got K1LR. He's basically a KX model droid. It's like if you saw the Rogue One. The big droid that, that oh, Cassie okay. says I have to. That's an Imperial security droid. That's what he, his chassis is. And he's basically at, trained as a commando. So he's good at front up fighting. So basically oh. these two are the exact same thing that early do based on the description you just gave. Like the same yep, so he's, he's, he's security guy. And this one is knife doctor guy. Yeah, but I'm just saying they have the same chassis. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the, he's, a, he's a KX, so they don't have that in the character generator yet, so I just picked that one. But K1LR is the security guy. He's, he's, as you can see, he's got a lot of weapons. Most of them are for, for security in the ship, because that's what his job is. He's a security droid. So the rebels were using him as a security bot. He's pretty much the all-around combat action guy. Then we've got E3PO, which is the captain's personal protocol droid who is also a commander instructor. So he basically can talk troops into being good, good troops. He's, he's, he's got some talky talky leadership skills. So he's okay when it comes to using a blaster pistol. And he's really great at leadership stuff. And he's got some abilities that help folks when it comes to warfare, warfare and leadership. So he's basically, he only has a light gun, but at some point you can always liberate a carbine rifle from a stormtrooper. 
Yes, you can take weapons from other people and use them. So your pro you guys are all glitchy rebel droids. Your programming does not keep you from killing or anything like that. All, all that you're programmed to do is to help your rebel troops, who will be calling you for help. Let me check my phone one more time to see if goblins come. Uh, you know the dark-haired guy with the pompadour hair? No. Okay. It's know. usually a... Uh... It's down to labor if you want to just simply Hulk smash. Or E3PO if you want to uh, take charge and lead. <laughs> so you have droid Captain America or, or droid Hulk. Oh, <laughs> I'll put it in way. Captain. That, that's the rebel's droid ass. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see if I can be a leader. So since both of you guys are fairly new to Star Wars, I will steal my uh, portfolios. These are the character portfolios that come with the beginning game. They are the best character sheets ever. So on your portfolio, I'll hand you one too, and then I'll pull one out so I can reference it. <laughs> so on the portfolio, because you guys, have you seen roughly the dice system? I've seen those before. Mm -hmm. Kinda. So on the character sheets, it's color coded to tell you what dice you'll be rolling for what skills. So yellow dice are the best dice because they have the, the equivalent of a natural 20 on them. So if this comes up, that's the triumph, mm -hmm. cool lightsaber symbol. That's the uber cool something amazing is happening. Now most of the time your difficulty dice are going to be these purple that you're rolling, which is if it's easy you're rolling one purple, average two purple hard three purple against whatever your dice pool is. And when you roll, we'll take a rank one skill, you basically will negate each other. So the starbursts are success, which are on this side of the character sheet. So these are the good things, these are the bad things. The starburst, which is success, and the failures negate each other. So like this dice, this guy with the starburst will negate this guy with the triangles. And you basically pair your dice off to see your, what your final success is. So like in this case, I come up with a threat. That's it. Bad dice. So threats take out advantages. Success takes out failures. But if triumph and despair both happen, they both happen, a cool thing and bad thing happens at the same time. So on your turn, it's pretty much classic DD style. You've got, say, you can do incidentals, which are basically quick little things like flipping a switch. So on your turn, you have an action, which is basically perform an attack, use a skill, or exchange one of your actions for a, man a second maneuver. You have maneuvers, which is move, aim, take cover, uh, ready or stow a weapon or item, interact with your environment, which is basically lock lock a door, hit the control panel, send a radio message, engage or disengage, so basically you can back away from an enemy just you know, out of step, so that way the, if they're melee they can't hit you, or stand up. On your turn, you can choose to take a movement in action, and if you're willing to spend two of your strain, which is one of your mechanics, you have wound and strain. So if you're willing to take two strain, you can take a second maneuver. So in theory, you can have an action and two maneuvers. You can only max of two maneuvers though. So usually what a lot of folks will do is you can double move, or you can move, aim your weapon, which will give you a boost dice to make your attack, and still make your attack. So it's, it's a fairly easy system. Once, once you, you play one or twice, once or twice, you get it down pretty quick. So let's get you guys a dice pool. On all of your skills, what's the most number of yellow dice that you need? Two. Two? One. One. And the most for green appears to be four. Okay. Did you get dice pool? Uh, three green. I also need one of the blue dice. I need a blue dice. And that's a, a negative black. So it means if there's a black die, you actually remove the black die from, from your roll. You have a skill. If you look on the third page is your talents. You guys actually started out with some talents. Uh, actually, one more, sh yeah, right there. But if you look on the next page, you'll see the actual talents marked with a little black hashtag. Those are the ones that you actually have so far. 
And those are cool little extra things that your characters can do. That just make your character more individual to you because it's your cool talent tree. The character generator makes lots and lots of extra little things, but uh, pretty much the cover page and that page are going to be all you need. On the bottom of the character sheet, so here's where you take wounds. When, when something hits you, you negate it, your soak first. So whatever your soak is, that's how much damage you don't take, which is nice. So if I say take 10 points of damage, and like Anaya's character here has a soak of five, she's only taking five wounds. So you would put your wounds in this little box here. And strain is something that you give and take pretty quick. Because like I said, you can take two strain to do another maneuver, which a lot of folks will do that. When you roll advantage, you can actually recover one strain. So strain is something don't be afraid to spend. So defense, I don't think any of the droids have a defense. What defense does is it makes your attacker roll a black die, or whatever the number is, to, to hit you. Critical injuries are dangerous because if you take a point of damage and they roll enough advantages to crit on you, that's how you die in the game. If you get reduced to zero wounds, you don't die, you're just out of the seat. You're like C-3PO conveniently taken out of the seat until somebody shows up and plugs them back in. You're not dead, you're just taken out. Crits, you can actually be taken out by a crit. So each time you take a crit, you're plus 10% to the next crit that you get hit by when you roll a percentage. To die, you need to roll 151 or higher on percentage dice. So usually it's five crits, or some horrible weapons have this tree called Vicious that adds 10, per, 10 times whatever number that, that's there. So they can be like Vicious 3, adds 30 to the weapon. Like uh, disruptor pistols and vibro axes are weapons that are made to cleave flesh from bodies. Which is why they say no disintegrations, because disruptor pistols blow off chunks of bodies when they hit you. So at the very bottom here, here's your weapons. So it gives you an idea of what skill is used to do the weapons, what the range is the weapons. In Star, Trek, in Star Wars, the range circles are engaged, which is fit like you and me. Short range, which is like you and me across the table there. Then we have medium range, which is like outside the store. And then you have long range, which is basically think the parking lot outside the mall. And then extreme range is two miles with a sniper rifle. Only like certain weapons can do it. So if it's outside of that range, you have to move into the range. Granted, you guys are in close quarters of a starship, so for the most part, medium and short is the only range circles you need to worry about. Then you've got critical. You'll see the advantage chevrons there, the little laurel leaves. That's how many when you roll you need extra of to get a crit with your weapon. So the more deadly the weapon, the easier it crits. So like here on this one, there's a fusion cutter, which is basically a welding cutter, that crits on only three. Well, it's also got vicious three, so it's plus 30 to your roll, so it's, it's a horrible weapon to get hit with. So, so yours, you crit on three, four, or five. That's a lot. Thank you, sir. What? Unarmed. That's your fist. You can crit with a punch. That's when you hit somebody and their teeth go into the back of their skull and they're knocked out. Yay! There's actually a Karatas career, that's the martial arts of Star Wars, that actually, when you do crits, you instead of rolling the dice, you're like, is it a rank one, two, three, or four crit, and you pick from the chart. As, as the martial art master you are, you pick how I just crippled this person. So it can be like, I break their arm. And instead of randomly rolling it, you actually look at the chart and you just pick it out, nice. which is really nice. The Jedi have their version, the, 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 the scum and villains have their version of Edge of Empires, it's, it's nice. So basically up here is your stats, it's your raw stats. Two is galactic average. Droids start with one across the board for everything because you basically want to pick one or two things you're good at and that's what you make your droid do. Humans would be like two across the boards and then you can spend starting experience to crank your guys up. So pretty much you got some flavor text on this page. Just it talks about uh, what weapons you have, what things they have. Some weapons over here will have a special thing that they do. Almost all of the special things require two advantages to activate. So like this thermal cutter has burned one. What that means is if I have two extra advantages to spend it, it lit the guy on fire and he takes the same amount of damage the next turn. 
Or if it says inaccurate too, it means like with this character, he has to add two black dice because the weapon's not really meant to kill someone with. It's a welding stick, so it's kind of hard to stab someone with it. So I got a question then. So what if you don't have a critical thing, but you do have the special, say, blast 10 and stun? Uh, if it's blast 10, it means two advantage to make you hit 10 targets within close range of the attack. So grenades, they don't really crit, thank God. So for you, it's a security knockout grenade. So basically you have one little launcher that just doo -doo 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 -doo, that shoots your grenade out. And then if you have, it'll, if you hit your target, it'll hit that person, but it has blast 10. So if you use two advantage, it airy affects everybody that's in the area. Since we now know that Stormtrooper armor only stops smoke. <laughs> I have done the most generation. Yeah, I, I still laugh at that one. It's like, wait a minute, you're wearing armor. It blocks everything. <laughs> well, I think he was talking about the filters on the helmet. Uh, and then uh, pretty much the last, last page talks about your character, what experience you have spent, you know, all the, all the stuff that you have. That, like droids, droid special feature, which you all have, by the way, is uh, you get two extra skills that you're trained in. As a droid, you're super, super skillful. Droids don't need to eat, sleep, or breathe. You're unaffected by vacuum, toxins, or poisons. Uh, droids do not gain benefits from Bactus impacts or medicine checks, but you can be repaired with repair patches, which are basically the same thing as stim packs, but for droids, and mechanics checks. So if one of you is good at mechanics, you can fix the other one up or fix yourself up. And droids can't become force sensitive. They can't require anything. And droids can have extra cybernetics compared to humans. And with droids, one of the cool things is when you make a droid is any equipment you have is considered built into your chassis. So if you have a pistol, it's RoboCop style pistol, it's in your leg, you don't have to worry about carrying it. If you have a toolbox, it's part of your character's body. Just to make life easier for a droid. By the way, technically if we're talking about really ancient Jedi and said things, they technically can make robots that aren't forces. Yeah, from, from the old Republic era. <laughs> Actually, it predates even that. The old, old Republic. You know, when everybody's got crystal sabers. Well, actually, it predates even the Republic, that particular technology. However, it was outlawed by the Jedi because they became super paranoid after the Great Schism. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the joke, you know, when uh, Dune and Star Wars backgrounds collide where they have the <laughs> droid uprising. So, any questions? Yes, hopefully we're not just two drives on the ship more stormtroopers. Well, see, that's the beauty of RPGs, is uh, the level of resistance will be equal to the amount of players at the table. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Hi, as a protocol to run the security drive, what could go wrong? Uh, see, you're the captain's special protocol droid. So you're more than just a, you're you're not C three PO. You're the Rambo equivalent of C three PO. I found it. Yeah. Oh, technically, they don't see through kill the one the captain originally. Oh yeah. <laughs> As opposed to built by Darth Vader. God, that was. That still hurts my head. <laughs> Somebody was trying too hard to make everything line up and become smooth and nonstop. <laughs> Get to that candy bar, that's my lunch. <laughs> Better than my lunch. I skipped out on lunch today. Well, you could have been, your lunch could have been two super small slices of pizza at a disease-filled kid park. Oh, no. Like a, I'm referencing Chuck E. Cheese. See, mine was just a Activia yogurt. Yeah. Oh, it's level for a chicken patty. Oh, see, that would be good. Yeah, let's put a little bit of ketchup and maybe some mayonnaise with a slice of cheese. Okay, so so when the camera pans in, it shows this this... Oh, we're making a movie now. What's that? <laughs> we're making a movie now. Yep. Hey, that, that, all the good role-playing games start out that way. <laughs> so, of course, you know, all of a sudden you get the little scroll come up, you know, assault on the Star Razor. And then I get you to do a brief background of the... the Brave Empire, the brave rebel forces are facing against the Empire. The brave forces, since the Death Star has recently exploded, are on high alert against rebel forces and attacking any suspected rebel group. And the camera like pans down and you see, you know, 
your frigate there. It's, it's the one that you was in the Empire Strikes Back that Luke was being taken care of. Frigate. Yep, Nebulon B. So the, the Star Razor, which is the name of a, this Nebulon B frigate, you, the camera pans down and you see like flashes in the windows and blaster fire going back and forth. And then eventually, you know, you see the bridge, blaster fire lighting up in the bridge area. And all of a sudden the camera pans down into one of the cargo units that's attached to the bottom there. So basically the bridge is on the top of this side. That's the bridge. There's the, the engineering section, the engines, and then there's the cargo containers. They put the, they put the bridge at the bottom down there? Yep. Apparently, whoever built this particular one didn't follow the schematics right. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are basically a bunch of droids in a cargo container. You're in basically this one over here that's full of cargo. You've all been basically restraining Bolt and Plunk together as a group, You're just kind of like silently all standing together. And then all of a sudden, there's a horribly damaged astromech unit. So you ended up going with uh, E3, yeah. and you went with K1. Or Keeler, for short. Keeler. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for for the names. Yeah, basically I'm the sarcastic one. <laughs> you got faulty programming. So so you notice that, that a bunch of these droids all have sustained lots of damage. You get, As the camera pans and you both have obvious restraining bolts put on you, and, and all of a sudden there's this, this spark of sound, and the, the little astromech that's his dome is completely vaporized off. There's just like the, the raw electronics. It's very sad. And as immediately one light starts blinking on him as he's bypassing systems and trying to recover himself. As he kind of moves horribly forward, it's so sad. As he comes up and just pick off your restraining bolt and your photoreceptors start lighting up and you're starting to activate. And he comes up and pick knocks your restraining bolt off, and then he knocks one off another droid, the droid just falls to pieces, unfortunately. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the astromech droid rolls back on its, on its two legs, and a hologram pops up. As just as you guys wake up, and you're just like, what's going on? So, so when you guys start up, what's the initial thing you're saying to this poor little astromech that's looking at you? What has happened? I say absolutely nothing. He just, beep, 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 beep. you just hear like his, his, his speaker just like shorts out and falls out. But all of a sudden the last holographic audio receptor he's got left all of a sudden spitters to life. You see this light start to glow and then hologram showing up of a guy looking right at where the hollow camera is. And he's just like manically poking with some kind of tools. And you see someone behind him like a butt just, just over his shoulder. As all of a sudden, it's, Sir Captain, Captain, it's working! And he's just looking at a total panic at the camera. It's like, working! I, 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 I think the astromech's still functioning! And, he's, and immediately, you recognize Captain Surdy. He is the commander of the ship. And he, like, shoves the ensign out of the way. And he's got his blaster pistol in hand. You see he's got, like, a terror in his uniform. And where is the butt we were seeing in the image? He is the butt. <laughs> and th this is Captain Surdy. I'm trapped in the main bridge! And he looks around and he's like, actually, we're trapped in the, the fresher on the bridge. <laughs> the restroom. Yeah. Oh, we'll be discovered any moment. I, I, I've got a mission for you droids. Anybody say anything? <laughs> you say, you, you, you're his protocol droid. And I just say, that's the button. <laughs> so what do you say? What's the mission, Captain? Uh, our, our, you have to help. The Imperials have taken over the ship. Currently, we've we've gotten the hyperdrive off offline, but but I'm afraid the Imperials will get it back on. But first, you need to get the hyperdrive coordinates to the Rebel base and either erase the files or make sure the Imperials don't get it off the ship, or the rest of our base are doomed. We can't let that information fall in Imperial hands. You droids are our only hope. And and basically, he 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 gets all in all seriousness, and he gives you. Your, your, your objectives, because, you know, you're a droid. He, he knows how to treat you guys. That, uh, if possible, you need to warn the Rebel fleet that their location is not secure. For that, you'll need to go to the PCOM. Basically, you know, it's the, the communications. Okay. Uh, if, if you can get there, disable the primary communications before the Imperials can send any messages to the Rebel's location. Also, if you can get to this, the ship comms, you need to issue an abandoned ship order so that anyone left free on the ship will escape in the life bots. 
So hopefully, if any of the crew are still out there, they can try to escape. And, and if possible, make sure that you disable any hyperspace-capable craft in either the fore or aft hangar bays. And basically, you know that on each end of the ship is hangar bays. And, and of course, if you free any of the, the, the rebels to help you, that, 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 that should, should take precedent over any other things. But, but you, have to, you have to make sure to, to keep the location of the rebel base secure. Does that mean blowing up the ship? <laughs> And he gives you this look when you say that, in all seriousness, whatever it takes to keep the rebels' base secure. <laughs> Wait, and then all of a sudden you hear his, 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 his non-com start screaming, Captain, Captain, something's happening, something's happening, and you hear it, shh, and a hatch open up and a bunch of stun bolts going off in, in volley fire. And, and then all of a sudden, this ship is now property of the Galactic Empire. You are all my prisoners. Take them away. Sounds like an ICD prick. Yeah. As the captain's hand like hits the comm and it shuts off, as you realize he's either dead or stunned. So, just to give you guys a basic rundown, since you, this is your ship, you know the ship. You know that. Uh, the ship comms and the the PCOM are on this part of the ship. You guys are here. So his primary goal was to get how to get to the communications to A, send a message to the rebels that, that they could be compromised. B, destroy the radio after you send the message so the Imperials can't send the signal out. Then if you can, head to the uh, hangar, disable any hyperspace case, capable craft there, because if not, they'll just get in the ship and fly away with it. Then, if you're able to go for the aft hangar, and then to basically make sure the engines don't get brought online so the Imperials don't just take the whole damn ship to an Imperial base. And of course, you know, on the SCOMs to send out the Avenger ship. So, what do you guys do as you're looking at each other? These sad collection of droids around you are all just blasted to pieces, and you know that they're no help to you. You two droids are the only help. As you both look and realize, wow, they left our weapons on our hips. <laughs> These Imperials just restraining bolted us and uh, left our weapons and everything on us. Oddly enough, you guys don't even remember how these restraining bolts got put on you. Eh, I'm a bad droid. I can figure it out. <laughs> you, you, you interfaced the wrong mech. Yep. So where are you guys going to go to? That personality circus were kind of right together. <laughs> Main mission. So, uh, so, so immediately you're like, we have to go to the comms. Yeah. Oh, but there's a good fight on the way. Okay. Okay, so you guys head to the, the doors of the cargo container. Fairly simple. You do know that the door is locked down. That, that basically you're going to have to find some way to open this door because someone, obviously you think the Imperials at least got a hold of enough control of the ship that they, they did a general lockdown. You're the captain's droid. Mm -hmm. And I'm not seeing any super big skills here except for maybe trying to punch down the door. Shooting the control panel is always an option. Mm -hmm. It's Star Wars. If the door's closed, you shoot it, it opens. If it's open, you shoot it, it closes. <laughs> yes, but I'm trying not to be completely stupid like I usually am, <laughs> so let's try not blowing things up first. I'd rather say the big explosion. Do you have any computer skills? I don't know. Do you have mechanics skills? Uh, no. No. Do you have mechanics? Mechanics? No. Strange enough, I kind of do. Not very good. Hey, you might have to do emergency repairs on yourself or open doors in emergency situations. Yeah. That kind of sucks, the fact that I'm built for combat, yet I got just enough skills to say, oh, I can try and bail. Technically, anything, any. You know, dice pool can try to do anything. Speaking of which, you both have this dice, this white dice. Mm -hmm. Every, both of you guys go ahead and roll that. Suspense. So, what did you get? What, is it a white uh, circle double, or a double, black circle? Double white. Single black. A single black? Okay, so this is the destiny pool. 
So what you rolled was two light side points and what you rolled was a dark side point. When we use these, basically it's a free caveat that you guys can say, you can flip it and just make a declaration. Or you can flip it and turn one of your green dice into a yellow dice. Or you can turn a bad dice, say I'm shooting at you, and you can make the difficulty to my roll harder. And I can pretty much do the same thing with the dark side. Conveniently, when one of us uses it, it becomes the other. So it's one of those keep the economy going, it makes the game move around. You could even just say right now, actually, I've got codes that override this door. Just for flipping it. Ooh. Or you could flip it to upgrade your roll to try to hack the computer with mechanics to open the panel and pump the hydraulics to open the door. So She's excited. We know what she wants to do. <laughs> yeah. What would you like to do? What you just said. So flip it, and what do you guys have? Um, I'm the captain of the droid. I should have some codes. Okay, so you actually have a code for this cargo container. You can both disengage the cargo container, sort of like that picture where it's floating away free, and open and close the door to it. Let's not disengage it while we're still inside. No, no, no. <laughs> Might be a bad idea. But right. on the plus right. side, you, you guys are not moving in space. You're, you're in still spots, so you good. So immediately you're like, I've got this code. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> and are you doing anything while she's opening the door? Yep, yeah, I'm going to prepare my blaster. Okay. So you whip out your blaster. <laughs> powered up. Is that swallow last night Milky Way? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect candy bar for this game. Perfect. <laughs> she hits the open button, you are prepared, and you immediately step out, and you see that there are two stormtroopers flanking the outside of the door that seem completely unaware that you guys were opening the door. They're like, what? As you two are coming out. So go ahead, and you're going to have a surprise round, so you don't have to roll initiative, but generally what we do is we roll either vigilance or cool, and then the order of initiative is either player character or NPC, and we pick you know, who wants to go. So you guys have one round of surprising them, basically, where, where you come out with the door with your blaster rifle ready, and these guys are like, oh! <laughs> and then you're expecting, like, Imperial Stormtroopers. These are just Navy Army. They got the oh. Navy Grays with the droopy helmet on, and they're just like, oh! So who, which one of you guys is going to go first? So I'm assuming it's you since you're already right there. Yeah. And I've got now, I'm this. assuming you want to be close, but not engage with your pistol, right? So close is one purple dice. If you get in, in their face, it's actually two because they can smack the gun out of their face. Uh, well, I'll just do the close, but not straight face. So you're like just out of arm's reach with them with the blast rifle. So it's one purple dice against your range light. Now what? Uh, your range light, it'll be the skill that's in the bottom of that sheet. Okay. So, so the character sheet will tell you what the dice pool is, and if you spend your movement to aim, you can add a blue to that. Uh, I will, because I'm not really moving much more. Yes, yeah, because so. you're already right there, so it's just like, you've got him dead to rights. Yep. Well, let's see how bad I hurt him. And are you on stun or lethal? It's up to you. I'm malfunctioning, let's go lethal. Okay. <laughs> Well, it looks like something kind of bad happens. So, so the starburst, the success, that takes away the triangles, which are failure. Okay, so that means basically this cancels that one out. Mm -hmm. And if you have a laurel leaf looking one? I have a threat. So it will be, wow, it's a lot of successes though. Yeah. yeah. So it okay. indicates a negative side effect or consequences. Even on a successful check, they cancel and are canceled by advantages, which I didn't get. Yep, so you'll, you'll take one point of strain, because basically it's, you, you did not expect them there, but you were ready. Uh, could you pass it? Sure. So one point of strain is what you take for the threat as you walk out, and you, did, you knew danger was near. You didn't realize danger was that close. But you immediately, with your reaction time, just pulled up the trigger. Now, the damage of your weapon is going to be at the bottom of the sheet, and it's, and it's, since you succeeded, it's going to be plus five to that number. So 12. So 12. Basically, you take this guy flat out. You just pulled the gun, you know, your blaster out, and you point blank, shot him, and he just hits the floor smoking. You see him come out, he does this cool tactical and you can smell with your with your, your sense receptors that, that, that is burnt flesh. But you do know that there's another guy over there. Do you want to go after that guy? 
<laughs> okay, so it is going to cost your maneuver to get out there, though. So we'll be able to aim unless you want to take two stream for a second maneuver. Oh, or if like, you want to punch him in the face. I want to punch him in the face. You have a blaster, don't you? I do, but don't I need to, like, do... Yeah. That's Miss Dem. You... Okay, cool. Then, yeah, blaster. Okay. So, go for it. Help. Help? Okay. Still new. So, look right. at the bottom of your sheet. So, make your dice full. Are you going to get engaged to him, or are you going to stay at, at close range? Can you get right up to him with the gun or safely away where you can shoot him where you can't work? Okay. So that's close range, so the difficulty is one purple. If you want to take two strain, you can get an aim as well. Yep. If you want to take two strain. So mark two yeah. strain on your sheet. So basically, you're, you're hustling to, to make in the big box. Uh, yeah, just put two. For some reason, just out of the back of my ancient memory, I just remember seeing a protocol drive running. <laughs> Yep, that's, that's, that's your pool. That's what I love about being a drive. There's so much comedy. So you roll amazing. <laughs> Yay! So we've got one, two, three successes and three advantages. Yay. Now, what would you like to do for the three advantages? Um. That's a lot. Three and three is a yeah, lot. Is. So would you like to give one of your teammates a free maneuver? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so basically since you only took one maneuver of aiming last turn, you can take a second one. So she's basically, what are you telling you to do? Like, cover the hallway? Yeah. So immediately, because she comes out and backs you up so well, says, cover the hallway. You get, you get to move out of the hallway a short distance. Basically, you can tell that there is no danger within line of sight of where you are. Okay. And you get, got covered as the guy's body's just hitting the floor. Her guy's body's hitting the floor. <laughs> are you on stun or lethal? Lethal. Okay, I like the, the face you made. Okay, so you guys are out of your <laughs> confinement. You're realizing you're out, you're in the main walkway. It's this big, long, massive length hallway that's got a couple breaks for airlocks and things. And you know where you need to go. Mm -hmm. You've got the two dead Imperials in the hallway. Uh, put them in the storage. Okay. Yeah, you can. You basically, you, 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 the next thing you do is you go and you grab them by the leg and you're dragging them off. I just so, throw mine in there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to see what your strength was to make sure your brawn was decent enough to do it. Okay. Some of the droids had a brawn of one, which is oh, a lot stronger than this. Much. I'll make it simple. I pick up both, one in each hand, and then just throw them in there. Mm -hmm. Close the door. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to head off to the uh, the comms? Yeah. Okay, so primary comms or secondary comms? Primary. Okay, because that's what you're told to do is the primary goal. Okay, so uh, you guys are heading off. So who's in the lead? Who's taking point? She's the leader. Okay. Hi. I'm covering her from behind. <laughs> okay. So both of you guys give me a perception check. Which dice is for that? Uh, it's going to be your skill. Wait, perception? Yep. Where did I go? Perception. Ah, here it is. No. Okay. Go green. It's alphabetical. <laughs> yeah. My perception it's alphabetical. sucks. Pilot, piloting, and then... It's under negotiation. Oh, okay, okay. got it. Okay. One. One, one yellow. And it's yeah. going to be against two purple. Oh. Okay. I'm screwed. Ooh. Hmm. So, so. You have a success in the threat. So that mm -hmm. canceled that out. Uh, this. So basically, my total is I got a single threat. A single threat plus your single threat. Mm -hmm. So you succeed in as you're 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 leading the group. You're looking through the the, the windows and the hatches. You guys get through a couple of the, the, the airlocks heading your way. As all of a sudden you're you're covering the rear as you keep looking back to make sure she's not leading you into a closet somewhere because you know that's yeah, it's really probably just what it is. If you guys haven't worked this close together. You're glitchy. She, she's the captain's droid. He's definitely glitchy, the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on? It's the first time you're working together as partners, and you're double-checking her work. You're basically spending more time looking back forward than you are back at you, where you're covering, but you're following her behind. As you guys pop through an airlock, and the airlocks go shoot. Okay. You know that it's, it's clear to head out, but there's movement up ahead. Mm -hmm. So you know you need to be cautious when you go through the next airlock. So there's some ominous sounds in the airlocks that you've passed. Probably the airlock cycling to make sure the pressure's up to snuff. And uh, so you're looking through there, and you see there's a patrol of a pair of stormtroopers okay. walking by. Always. 
Are they coming towards us? They're, they seem to be just walking by, and they won't be going your direction. Be, they're, they're going cross mm-hmm. ways to your direction. Why does he get them to us? No, I give her the cops. Damn it. After all, I think she's the sneaky one, too. Yeah. I've, got a deep, <laughs> I've actually got a sneaky stealth as well. So, oh, you. Your stealth is only slightly better than mine because you get these things that look at. She's actually got training in it. Yeah. So, so you see the stormtrooper seem to be walking their circuit. What do you do? In their circuit? It's the circuit. Yeah, they're, no, no. They're, they're um, which way do we need to go? In their circuit. You need to go past them back where they came is the lifts that will take you down to the communication Cool. Area. And they just passed us? They just passed us. Sneak, sneak past. Okay, so you guys are going to open the, the airlock as quietly as the airlock. Wait for them to pass a little bit further. Okay. okay. So uh, you're basically going to wait for them to pass. So I'll give you a blue dice, both of you. And go ahead and give me your stealth roll as you guys are sneaking past them. You waited till their shadows just disappeared. How many purple? It's going to be a red and a purple. Because it's against their 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 vigilance. So yeah. Yep. So you use your, your stealth plus a blue against a red and a purple. Oh, scary. <laughs> that so yes, you retrieve your dice. So <laughs> this is really actually kind of strange for me. So I actually managed to cancel out my yeah. I managed to cancel out my red die, <laughs> but I did not cancel out my purple. Okay. So what did you get? I wound up with two successes and a threat. Okay. No, three successes and threat. Perfect. So you're sneaking out, and you're just like, the threat, you're not going to know what that is yet, but you're going to find out in a second. <laughs> and what did you end up with? Man? A disaster. So, uh, if we do that, perfect. It's what fine, what, what right? was with, with the red dice, though? Um, it's a disappear. So uh, you have, what, two successes and four advantages? Mm-hmm. So what would you like to do with your advantages? To remove the despair. doesn't yeah. work that way. Despair is going to happen, regardless. It's okay. Despair is not a bad thing. It just means something interesting is happening. Yeah. Um, advantages? Yeah, you have four advantages. Mm-hmm. Would you like to give your partner an extra maneuver always. to get to the elevator to hit the button? Yeah, always. Okay, so basically, again, she's like waving you forward, silently commanded. Because she's an instructor. That's her thing. Okay, then. <laughs> so um, you'll take an extra maneuver so you can get right up to the turbo lift. And I'm yep. watching his back. So. Okay. And just as you say, you're watching his back. That's interesting. That's yep. an interesting phrasing that you put it out there. Why is she gonna accidentally shoot me or something? No, 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 no. It's not you're about fuck shitting him, circuits. Nothing no. that dramatic. But uh, I didn't know you too well. What do you mean you knew me too well? And if you want the cheat sheets, here's things you can do with advantages. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. So uh, the bottom part. It's a cheat sheet just to give you ideas of how you can use advantages mechanically and narratively. I always say, say narratively what you're doing as yeah. opposed to just say, I give him a black dice because that's boring. That is boring. That is boring. Mm. Narratives can be fun until you're saying I'm doing it because I don't like you. <laughs> that can still be fun. <laughs> yes. So immediately, as you guys come out into the hallway. Mm-hmm. By the way, have you ever noticed whenever I roll a luck, it's always to cancel out something? It's never because I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, so, that's luck. As you're stopping to cover him in the hallway, you immediately look back through the airlocks you're coming and you sense that airlocks are opening behind you like something was following you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And all of a sudden, as you hit that button, here's what that despair brings about. All of a sudden, the, the lift stops, <laughs> opens up, and there is an Imperial astromech droid right there. It's got that very harsh talk to it like an R R three unit and it immediately lifts you <laughs> and all of a sudden the last airlock opens and a small Imperial spider droid, not the big one you saw in Hawk, yeah. but it's the tiny ones, comes Oh are we talking about those probe droid things? The the tiny ones though. The, the small ones that have little foot. arms, yeah, they, <laughs> that you can smash with your foot because they're 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 really just security droids. They're not the space one, you know, the big yeah, the spider that, droid. Yeah, the one that they use for actual like reconnaissance. Yeah, this this is the small one that you would release on a ship. That's basically all it does is report back. So immediately, you all know the shit is coming down. So go ahead and roll your vigilance. Uh, now, when you roll for initiative, you roll just your skill, no negative dice. Wait, what? Oh. So you said we're rolling for vigilance? Vigilance, yep. Yeah. That's good. Yep. I rolled nothing. So, blank. 
I did skill two stuff. So, so you have in, in your skills there. Look for it looks like you're rolling a skill the very bottom. See where the yellow is? Where your yellow die is? Yellow die. Yellow die. Ah, ah, There's more right. skills. Okay, three. So what am I rolling? Just so three. just, just, just that green. Yep. We both run that thing. We're screwed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I still have this means, two other advantages? This means this means my character is going to come into his own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to have to fight. Do I still have the two other advantages though? Uh, is it past the it's it's past that. Okay. But how would you have spent them? I don't know. Well, I'd say you use one to ready something. I had a pistol ready. Yeah, yeah your pistol ready. Well, I would have used mine to have my punch. Because you used three of your four advantages just to have him get that extra maneuver to mm-hmm. push the button. But yeah. then the despair was that there was someone already in the elevator. Yeah. So out of curiosity, since you said most of our stuff is built into this, I'm going to assume my punch dagger is built into my hand. It actually is. It does that whole chink. <laughs> so I can do that while I'm throwing the punch. Yeah, you could. This will be fun. Okay, so immediately you guys realize there's an astromech looking at you that's Imperial that immediately is recognizing you are not an Imperial droid mainly because someone spray painted rubble with symbols on you at one point. So if I need to change my thing. <laughs> and you notice that this pro droid is coming through. So for initiative wise, they get to go full first, then you guys get to go first in whichever order you want. So you guys can basically pick amongst yourselves who goes first. First thing that's going to happen is the probe droid that's looking at you. It's this little pizza tray with, with little yeah. mechanical tentacles and a big eye. Yeah. And immediately you see its little comm antenna pop up and it's sending a signal that there's intruders on board. Mm-hmm. You're clearly hearing it. It's somebody help because it's only got one gun and it's a small stun blaster on it. Yeah. And it's basically, and it's moving away from you. Mm-hmm. It's going to about uh, medium range from you because it's heading where the stormtroopers were. Okay. It's basically he goes saying, "Help! Help!" and moving away from you. Okay. The astromech droid, on the other hand, is is a little more cool of a cucumber, as immediately it whips out its arc welder. Oh. And it just, <laughs> and it's got the red eyes, and it's just coming at you with this little sparking arc welder. Oh, it wants me to tear it apart. <laughs> it wants you to tear it apart. I agree. That's now a case of Battle Droids Arena. Oh, wow. You. So I succeeded. I got one success. So he comes at you with his arc welder. So now this brings up the question is what? how does the soak work? So four points of damage is what you're taking. Okay. What's your soak? Nice. He arc welds you, and you're like, really? Oh, Are you doing something? Oh, look, he's trashed up by rubble markings. He, he <laughs> buffed off some stray bits of dust on you. And basically, he, he just gives you this look of... <laughs> as he realized, he chose to tangle with the wrong droid. Nice. So which one of you would like to go first? You, well, you want yours to... looks, mine looks like the biggest threat right now. Yeah, so I'd say you take out your little droid first. Yeah, I want to shoot it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going in the medium range. I'm in medium range. Yeah, yep. well done. It's, it's at medium range. What is the range of your blaster? M- medium. So your blaster is still within range, yeah. and it's going to be too purple for medium range. Okay. Are you going to use your maneuver to aim? Yeah. That's a yes. So that means... You get to add a blue. And I'm a jerk, and I'm going to upgrade the uh, difficulty for your roll, so turn one of those purple red. I don't like you. <laughs> okay. And when you use the light and dark side points, only one flip can happen for an action. So okay. it's, it's she can't flip one back and forth. It's for this roll, only one flip happens. Usually when I GM, I give you guys a chance to reach before I reach. Yeah, well. No, no, this is fine. What's the worst that happens? I always forget about the uh, uh, worst that So you uh, take your shot. Okay. So you line up your blaster, you aim. So go ahead and separate your dice. So take that. Uh, it looks nope. like you may have missed. So that that's a fail. Out. You have one advantage and one fail. So you shoot and the little thing's bobbing around and it just blaster fire hits the ceiling of the ship. So what do you do for your one advantage? You have one advantage. You can do these things. Uh, is there a door in front of it? Uh, no, there's not. No doors. Okay. 
It's 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 running. You can recover at one point of strain if you want. Remember, you did take two strain. But I wanted to die. Well, you missed. Right you should yeah. have hit. Sure. If you wanted to die, you got. Oh, if you had hit it, you could have actually done a critical. Yeah, I would. But so you pew, and it just bobs away, and it's like. It's like flexing its little tentacles at you, like, ha ha, I'm too mighty and strong, a probe droid. And then we have the poor astromech that's looking <laughs> fluid right now. He is in engaged range with you. Moss, so I'm debating on whether or not if I want to punch him or shoot him. Which would you like to do? Well, one Technically, in this game, if you want, you can do wheel. The way the dual wielding mechanic works is you would add an extra purple to whatever. So if you're shooting him, you're, you pick the hardest of the two rolls. So shooting someone engaged is normally two purple. If you want to use your knife too, you would add an extra purple. And if you have two advantages, both weapons hit. Dual wielding, when it hits, is freaking glorious. When it misses, it really sucks because it means, you know, only one weapon, if it hits, one hits. You need two advantages for the second one hit. So this, just out of curiosity, because I'm wondering if it's in my databanks, do I actually know how much health this thing has? It's fairly sturdy. Hello. Hello. Is anyone allergic to dogs? No. No? no. Did you steal a puppy you want, from you want a puppy break? Oh. <laughs> His name is RJ2. RJ2? And RJ2 means a haircut. Because I have an esky poo, and his name is Reggie. So I named this one Reggie Jr. And he's two because he's the second one. Aww, you just got him? I'm not buying them. Oh. I'm selling them. $1,900, here you go. <laughs> he's a puppy. He's a puppy. Yeah. I just figured it might bring people. Hey, cute puppy. I mean, he competes with next door. Yes, puppy, exactly. puppy palace. Yeah. Oh, that's how we win this game. At least the cute puppy. <laughs> <laughs> one of your cargo bays is full of cute the puppies. Cute little puppies. A puppy will melt the heart of even the harshest imperial soldier. Oh, that just gives me an idea. Let's throw a whole bunch of imperials into one of the cargo bays and inject them off. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that would work. So you're there, you're debating, do I shoot, stab, or option C, which is both? I'll do both. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's, since you're point blank range, it's going to be three purple. Okay. Oh, well. So it's three purple, but I get to roll all my dice. You get all of your dice, and if you want, since you are standing right there, would you like to add a blue dice for Amy? Yes. I also need another green. Oh, actually, no, you get another yellow. Because I didn't know double was not. Well, no, you, you roll the better of the two dice rolls. Oh. Okay. So whichever, so whether it's blaster or melee. Well, this is what I got for melee. Yeah, so, so melee is your higher. Monster. Yep. You don't forget your purples. And you have to do blue, right? Yep. Okay, so you're looking for two advantages. It's the magic thing for both these to have. So which weapon is hitting first? Blaster or knife? Uh, I'll just say knife because I want him to stay in place. Okay. <laughs> so the knife is your primary attack with, with a backup ghetto style blaster. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope they got this real <laughs> Nice. The aim definitely came through for you. One success. Wow, all of that cancels out. Oh my god. <laughs> but, so I got two advantages. That's what you need for two successes. <laughs> so basically it's two plus each of those weapons. So what's the first damage for the knife? Five. So the knife should be should have, so add plus two to whatever that number is for the knife. So seven. Because each success gives you plus one to the attack. So seven for the knife. Okay, so that's five after his soak. What about the blaster? And the heavy blaster is seven plus the two is nine. Nice. I just need one success on this. That's all I needed. So you did exactly what was required as he as you like shank into his dome and pop his dome off. And this is completely exposed. It's revenge for R7 back in the cargo hole. And you just like nonchalantly spy gangster style, just hold up your pistol, and discharge your pistol into his carapace. His, his cap and he just and the arc well just drops dead and he just falls over smoking deactivated droid husk. <laughs> I'm so glad I chose this character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you just murdered this ash the Imperial Astrobet. Well that's two so far. Yep. So what happened to the spider? The spider ran away. As you look down the hallway asking your 
her where's the spider as you sing it going <laughs> as it's running right towards those Imperials with this little alarm bipping. 911. So top of the initiative order, this little guy is going to beat feet and double move to to try to escape. So he's now at long range from you guys. Wanna make for the elevator? Yeah. Hey, it could be great. All the troops come to here while you've gone somewhere else. Yeah. So you guys are popping in the elevator, hitting the level for the primary communications? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you jump in the elevator and triple lift immediately starts go doing its thing as basically he's going, Help! Help! And drawing to the, to the two troopers and he's like, eh, 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 pointing back there to them and they're like, in, in, in basic droid, basic. So, of course, you know, something is happening upstairs. You guys don't know exactly what, but you guys are on the triple lift. You hit the, the primary communications deck. You're getting all ready. Got your little shoulder to shoulder, cool blasters, up in the air ready moment. Buddy cop movie. But just the wreck of an astromech on the floor. With <laughs> <laughs> the smoking corpse. So, what are you guys doing as the triple lift's heading? You're just going to wait, shoot anything that's there when the door opens? As the captain. As the captain. Hmm. Oh. Sad. Sad, <laughs> sad emoji eyes. <laughs> um, uh, more determined to get this done. Okay. Yes. You, you, you're now put your determination levels at 120%. Yes. Okay. Lift shoot, stops. The little droid rolls. You just hear this tinking sound of the droid rolling back and forth in place. <laughs> As you guys look and the doors open up, there seems to be a couple techs working here. There's about four technicians. Mm -hmm. Let me give you a quick, quick and dirty picture. Battle or Imperial. Imperial. You should be able to hit them. Hit it? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. I wonder how close they are together, because we might be able to do this without having to fight them all one at a time. They're not close. <laughs> well, I'll okay. just the room. So the the room, believe it or not, is actually fairly small, okay. yeah. and you think that this communication would be bigger, but it's mostly equipment that eats up most of the space. But they are equally spread out at the four different comm channels, and they're all basically you can see they've got data sticks where they've been trying to slice into the computers mm -hmm. and been having issues with it. Clearly, when the lift opens up here, here's the door. You guys, you know, kind of get the idea that there's a bunch of people in here. And that's the, you guys know from the floor plans because this is your ship after all. That this is basically the communications officer's you know room where he has all the, the cheat sheets, the charts, the different things he needs. And these are just the technicians' areas. But normally there should be like six or seven techs in this area on any given day. So when you look out, these four Imperials pretty much seem to be not paying you any attention. They're just working away. They've got the little hacker goggles on, and they're working trying to break the encryption code here. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and you can give me a cool or vigilance. I'll give you guys the choice for initiative. Because cool means you're basically being cool cucumbers waiting for action to happen like Han Solo would. Or vigilance is you're just being super at the ready. Hmm. Well, though mine kind of sucks, so I'll just do vigilance. Okay. I have better cool. Then you should do a cool. <coughs> Mine's like evenly. Oh, but I got success. You got double success. Double advantage, so you have success and you have two advantage. What well, advantage? Huh? Advantage. Advantage. Well, no, the advantage are basically used for tie breaking. So okay. they rolled zero as well. Mm -hmm. Whoever has the most advantages will go first. Got it. So, wait, I go first? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I go first. <laughs> okay, good. So, the real question is do I sneak up and stab the first one or do I throw in a grenade? You got grenades. So I got one. He's got one but knockout but grenade. So the order of initiative, just to let you guys know, is going to be NPC, so mm -hmm. one of them, both of you guys, and then one of them. Okay. Maybe there's another NPC type in this room you don't see. Mm -hmm. So you guys are there, and these guys are just, for their turn, they are just busy at work on the keyboard, striking away. They have not noticed you guys here. Besides, they just sent the astromech up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just sent the astromech up. <laughs> Nobody's smelling him yet. No. <laughs> is that carbon scoring I smell? So who's gonna go first? I guess I'll be going first. So the real question is, is do I sneak up on the first one and stab him that way? Or do we just start going guns a blazer? Uh, or I could throw the body of the astromech right at the nearest one to stab him. 
Yeah. That's a fun one. So what should it be? I kind of want them out as fast as possible. So let's start with Killy Killy first then. Yeah. Alright then, so I'm going to sneak up to the nearest one and stab it. Okay, we'll say this far one over here should go in a nice beautiful circle, circle yes. motion. Yes. Okay, so you go to the one that's basically over at uh, 4 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to use your gun or your knife? I'm going to use the knife and I'm going to try to do this stealthily. Okay, go ahead and give me a stealth roll. It's going to be against two purple. There, there. That is her. Must be with me. <laughs> you can always do the light side one. What does the light side point do again? Basically, it turns one of your greens into a yellow. Yes. Okay. So, so flip one for me, please. There you go. So, uh, so, so I've got two successes, but one threat. One threat. So I'm going to give that threat actually, to you. Actually, yep. No, I'm going to give that threat to you in a shrink. Uh, no, actually, no, I'm going to give you a black dice to your next action because you're going so super quiet. You've locked your joints, so it's you're being super stealth mode. So your next roll will have a black die. Whatever it is, it's going to have a black die. Okay. Okay, as he's slight, quietly sneaking out there, and he, it's amazing how lubricated his joints are because he's not making a sound. Yeah. So what are you going to do? You sneaking up on this one? Um. It's gone over here. And that's a window, right? That's an office. That's, but is there a window to Yes, it? that's yeah. a window. Um, I want to go the opposite direction. He's going. So you're going to go this way? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're walking out and going this way. Mm-hmm. So you're sneaking as well? Mm-hmm. Give me a step. Oh. And your step's better than mine. And it's against two purple. Two purple. Oh, I don't like Ooh, that. Ooh, that's a wicked. Oh, both your purple are wicked. Uh huh. So go ahead and partial them out. Things you're going to start having quite so. So go ahead and take your successes in your. So these two successes are taken out by that. Okay. So it's turned down to just an advantage. Okay. And you have two failures and three advantages. Okay. I will give you something about the environment here, gladly, okay. since you failed your stealth, is he's trying to sneak and she actually kicks the astromech droid making some noise. As you're sneaking across here, you see through that window that's there in the office. You're, the problem is, you were worried about somebody seeing you in the window. Yeah. That's, what, that's what killed you. You yeah. were fixated on that window. As you look through, you realize there are about eight rebel troopers secured in this office and it looks like they're hang- they're bindered one to the other okay in a row basically against this wall here mm-hmm. and they seem like uncomfortably yeah red marks they think they, they've wild. been bound up for a while in this area and just as you see the text and you have this like your empathy circuit pings okay. so I have that. <laughs> i'm making it up that you have this okay cool <laughs> you all of a sudden make this a uh, 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 stuttery sound, like you, you know you want to free them. The captain would yeah. want the men free. Yeah. You know, if these men were following your orders, you could retake the ship, no problem, I'm sure. Yeah. And as soon as you say that, you start to almost call out to Private Jenkins, that all of a sudden when you stuttered that, one of the techs leans back because he's like, this doesn't sound like the astromech, and he looks right at you as you're halfway sneaking up on him. Mm-hmm. And his eyes go huge as he's looking at you walking up on him. Want to kill him. Uh, fortunately, it's there. it's an Imperial's turn. Yeah. So immediately, probably what caught your eyes, one of the people you thought in that office was an Imperial, is I mean was a rebel, mm-hmm. stands up out of the chair, slaps one okay. of the rebels, and you realize his his uniform is he's not a rebel. He's right. in rebel uniform, but he slaps one of the other rebels, okay. and it's obviously not handcuffed. And he kind of gets up snaps out an imperial cap and sticks the cap on his head and turns and he walks out the door looking right at you. Okay. And he's just like, seize that droid! <laughs> as he's grabbing for his sidearm. Okay. I suppose like nobody's going to be yet. <laughs> and and you're, like, you're like right up on the guy. You pick this perfect corner yep. that you're just like, sneak, 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 sneak. Blade slowly coming out Wolverine style. <laughs> as immediately, this tech and this tech start to react. They like yeah. reach up to the counter and grab their pistols and they're swiveling in their swivel chairs with their pistols at you. Adorable. Okay. Now these guys are, are what's called minions. They, yeah. they work as a group. Yeah. 
So these two guys working as a group are going to shoot at you. Okay. It will not hurt. So you did creep up on this guy. Mm -hmm. So that means you're right behind him, mm -hmm. which means it's a little harder for him because he's holding a pistol right in your face. Okay. And his buddy shoots with his cool stuff. Okay. So as they shoot at you, boom, we get one success. Okay. So they hit you for this little volley fire for six points of damage before okay. stuff. I have one point though. So one point of damage. It's a good thing that you're armor plated. So write down your one point of damage. It's it's over. Wounds. There you go. So you basically this the, these two guys start blasting at you with blasters, and a couple you get clipped by one that like smokes off your leg. Okay. As you're just like, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and the commander's like grabbing his his radio, and he's gonna on his turn. He's gonna radio somebody. Mm -hmm. So who's gonna go first? Your guy is still teching away with his goggles on, oblivious to anything. I'm just gonna kill. Okay, I will give you a blue dice because he's oblivious to you doing anything. So if you're, you're aiming, you can get an additional blue dice. As well. Okay. Aim for the skull. Okay, base of the skull, you're going to interface with his brain with your knife. Hey, that's what they call right behind him. <laughs> so actually, this turned out not that bad. So oh, did you roll your purple? It's two purple. Oh. Then no problem yet. Thanks for reminding me. Forgot about it. Okay. Not as good as I would have liked, but oh well. Alright, these cancel each other out. Okay, those cancel each other out. So I have three successes. Three successes, and what's the damage of your blade? Five. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. Eight points. As you just quietly push your knife right through his head, and all of a sudden you see like a spurt of blood into his goggles. And his head just leans off of your knife onto the control console and just mm -hmm. let be. As his, the guy next to him didn't even hear it happen. That guy's just like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, they, they've got that covered. I looked over there and saw them shoot the droid. The droid's going to die. Mm -hmm. So you're going next to mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have three people on me. Yeah. One going for radio, two going pew, pew, pew. Take out radio. I want to take out radio. Okay. So. Now, quick question. What? Are you going to try to kill him or shoot the radio? Shooting the radio is an option. It would add a black dice, but mm. it might die faster than a person. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna Wait. you're gonna lone ranger his radio and blow it up. Yeah, sure. However, you can use your point to give you a slightly higher advantage. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to use know. that last light side point there. I forgot, what do we, is it you that uses the dark side? Or I something? use the dark side, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it means I'll have to give you some of your economy back shortly. Right. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay, so, okay. so two purple, and give yourself black, because you're, 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 you're trying to be all <laughs> Lone yeah, Ranger. Yep, and you're aiming. Yeah. Go for it. That's all. Right? Yep. You have a good chance. <laughs> and you upgraded your, you, you flipped the light side, right? Yeah. So you added the yellow, you turned the green to a yellow? Yeah, they have. Okay. <laughs> I might have to score you were turning into this <laughs> Actually, it didn't do too bad. Yay. So that green and that purple take each other out. And that, ooh. So you got two successes and a luck? Or no, two, three, three advantage, no success. Okay. So immediately you try to Lone Ranger his his radio. Mm -hmm. And you thought he was going here with it, he went here with it, and your, oh. your, your shot missed and hit the wall. Okay. But you have three advantages. Mm -hmm. Now, three advantages, you can do a lot. You can make someone for three advantages drop something. Would you like to make him be scared and drop the radio? Yeah. I shot okay. his head. Yeah, you shot his head and he goes, yeep, and drops the communicator on the floor. <laughs> it's not broken, but it's on the floor. Yeah. So you basically have shot, and he's like, yeep. Yeah. And you're good with where you're standing? You don't want to take too strain to move? I want to take too strain to move. Where are you moving? Um, Away from the guy at the console I'm going to him, or? Because one of the guys at the console is screaming like a little child. Oh, what? <laughs> Not the one that I killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just keep killing them. Uh, yeah, I want to take out the commander. So you're getting like right up to the commander's face? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you basically are like walking away with disdain for the guy. So take two strain for an extra maneuver. 
Mm-hmm. It should be a three? Yeah. Okay, so you're basically stormtroopering right up to this guy's face. <laughs> He's like, Mif! Mif! <laughs> Okay. Oddly enough, it is his turn. Okay. He is going to immediately do an about face and go back into the office he came from. And he's pulling a pistol and pointing it at one of the rebels. Okay. And you can't hear him because the door's shut right behind him, but he's, cl- he's clearly demonstrating, surrender or I will kill a hostage. Mm-hmm. And he's got total panic face on his face because he just realized he left the radio, the communicator outside the door, mm-hmm. which is like right at your foot. You could do a quick athletics and crush Yeah, I do. I want to do that. Okay, so the technicians, all hell is now breaking loose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just take them out. <laughs> I'm dealing with this one. All three technicians are going to start shooting at you. Of course. So that upgrades their dice pool a little. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's funny through all this. Nobody's noticed me. Yeah, good. And I'm the biggest thing in the room. Right, good. <laughs> so they're all shooting at you now. Yeah, I'm going to die. You're not going to die. So, they're shooting away, and they're, 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 they're taking some strain, which is wounds for those guys, mm-hmm. which sucks. And they're hitting you for a total of seven points of damage. Okay, so I have two more points. Yeah. Are you gay? No. Are you, are you, are you brave now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> See, these guys fire as a group, so it's like pretty much it simulates minions. If they yeah. were rivals, they'd be a little more dangerous because okay. they each get a turn on you. Okay. So these guys are shooting at you like a couple shots. You're glancing off your shoulders. You're doing your turn. Probably scaring the guy even more. So which one of you is going next? They, 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 this guy's got his back to you, and he's like, "Kill him! Kill him!" So so it means less fire. Since he still hasn't noticed me. I'm debating if I should duel where I both punch him with the dagger as well as just with the back of my fist. From the way oh. the first one died, if this guy has any indication, one weapon alone is enough to kill them. How? Or what you can do, since you're dual wielding, is walk up, knife him, and shoot the yes. guy across the room. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. That's but, doable too. But I'm thinking there might be a better solution. So, since. So, does it take a maneuver for me to get to the other one? Yeah. So what I might do is, just for the fun of it, I might use one of my strain things okay. to, to, get, to get two maneuver, use one maneuver to get to him, one attack to kill him, Okay. the other one to throw him, to throw him at one of the other guys. That's fun. Uh, that that would be like the next turn kind of thing. Well, wouldn't that be considered as a, wouldn't be kind of a maneuver because it is interacting with the environment, or is there something from the environment I can throw? The chair. You can throw the <laughs> chair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Or you could even say you're dragging this guy's corpse. Okay, then yeah, because I'm not throwing it to hurt him, I'm just throwing it to distract him. Okay. You so can that way it's not an actual there. attack. Okay. Okay, so let's stab him first. Okay, so you so basically you are dragging the dead one with you. Yep, I'm now getting ready to stab the other one. So that's two purple or one purple? Uh, it's going to be two purple. Yep. Melee is always two purple. Okay, then. And let's talk. You know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade that so you guys have a point in your game. Okay. So turn one purple red. Yeah. For some reason, I've actually had luck in that. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, my luck might not. Might, you know, it's only one in twelve chance that something bad comes up. Really bad on the red one. Really. Bad. Strangely enough, I actually haven't gotten the really bad one at all. It's always been you. Yeah, it's me. Watch change. Nope. I've done whole game sessions where it's never come up. So. Just depends on the dice. Yep. This is interesting. So. Stuff is happening. <laughs> so, our kind of kids are out. That's the text. That they summon mm-hmm. children to your mechanical So, leaders. I have two successes and one advantage. Okay. So, what's the damage of your knife? Five? Five. So, seven points. And then what can I do with the advantage? Which, I can use the advantage to make it a critical, or instead of doing the stress strain, I could use it to give me... I will give you, you don't need to crit. Yeah, so... So I might just use it so I don't have to use the strain to get an extra maneuver. So. Uh, well, it, it would because remember it's two strain for an extra maneuver. One advantage will give you back one strain, so you'd only lose one strain for yeah. your second maneuver. Yeah. So okay, that. so you come up and just viciously backhand with your knife that guy and flame with <laughs> impenance, just throw the corpse across the room, and and these two guys are now realizing you're there, and a body just went flying and landing at their feet with this <laughs> horrible blood <laughs> smear. <Distract them, please. laughs> As one goggle goes, and there's like, 
Yes. <laughs> I just turned this into a horror movie. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm going to make them roll a fear check. That the fact that two murder droids just showed up and are killing them. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Well, and they their commander believe. just locked himself in the office, or at least that's what they believe. Yeah. <laughs> he dropped his radio and he's he's crying to mama. <laughs> so what are you gonna do as the body comes flying across the room? Mm, the guy is pretty scared right now. The guy is pretty scared with a ho- a group of like seven hostages, okay. and he's pointing a gun at the temple of one of them. Temple of one of them. Mm. Can a plastic go through the window, or is that not possible? Is it the door actually closed? Is the door actually closed? Yeah, he's the actually door doesn't closed. seem actually locked. You didn't hear it cycle locked. It just. Okay. So if you take like half a step, it'll open itself for you. Okay. Uh, can I take a half a step and then try to shoot him in the face? You can take a half step, be just out of range, and you'll be rolling only a purple against him to shoot him in the face. Cool. Now the question is, do you want to take two strain to aim? Yeah. Okay. So it's out of blue dice. So one, two, right? Yep. And go ahead and turn your one purple to a one red. Because since you're only rolling one dice, let's make that an interesting dice. No, get rid of the purple. Because remember, oh. my point turns that okay. purple okay. red. Yep, there you go. Doesn't she still need red? Nope, oh. because she's, she's just at short range, which is one purple. And I turn that purple red. Kill him. And I did. Prove your metal. Yep. <laughs> Don't chase me. Mean. That's a... Nope, so it looks like the red and the yellow cancel each other out. So that got a that. success with two advantage. Yay! So, what's the damage of your weapon? My damage is six. Six? So seven points of damage. What kind of blaster do you have? Light, uh, blaster pistol. Oh, so that's Versus why mine's, yeah, that's why mine's better. Mine's yeah, heavy. You've got the heavy blaster pistol. That's the big home key yeah. one. Strangely enough, my blade's been doing more work. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's a sneaky sneak. Yeah. Yeah. To be so, honest, I probably look like something out of a Friday the 13th movie at this stage. So uh, you shoot him and hit him. Yes! He doesn't die, though. I don't care. He takes a shot. Wait, I shot. Oh, because he has a helmet. Does he have a helmet? No. No, he's just tougher. Okay. Technically, it is how you're shooting him in the face, but you may have just missed the face. But, but you shoot him and he, like, you. And he's like, Get back, you monstrosity, you metal behemoth, or I'll kill them. I mean it. Wow, he's really scared of protocol droids. <laughs> he just saw a protocol droid survive a volley fire. Yeah. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the idea, he's serious that on his turn he will execute one of them. Yeah. If you continue walking forward, do you, do you keep walking forward or do you step back? Do you? Wait. Okay, we gotta think through this. <laughs> we got protocol this shit. In protocol. all honesty, if we're, if we're talking about strategy wise, the other two are probably going to take a fear check. High probability they might fail because it sounds like they're kind of weaklings. So you can step back and probably help take care of that because I've got a slightly longer range with my weapon. So As I, I step back, part. can I step on that radio? Or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Give me a athletic skill roll. So, do, 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 and it's going to be against two purple. Wow, my and athletics says, checks There's long. a negative? Huh? There's a black dice in here. That it's a na- See how it has a negative symbol in there? It means it removes the black dice. Because you're actually trained as an instructor to be coordinated. So just this? Yep. yep. Purple? And then it gets two purple. Okay. This is just to see if you can confidently stomp on the radio and not kick it across the room. Oh, yeah, please, for the love of... Right to, right to his feet. Oh, okay. So it looks like you got a success and an advantage. So yeah, you step back and you just hear the crunch and his eyes kind of go right to your foot when you <laughs> see the crunched communicator as you just, uh, now are you staying in a way that keeps the door open? Yes. Okay. So basically like one foot back. So you take one foot back like and Ooh. like you're just, like, opening up a perfect line of sight between your friend's blaster and his body. Uh-huh. I, got a, I got a quick question now that we've got this going. Yes. Yeah. How good are your communication skills? Uh, pretty damn good, actually. Good, because if you can stall him, I can kill the other two, then I can come out of the two metal horse. Computers, you said? Yeah. yeah, three of these guys. So if you can keep him distracted while I kill the other two, I think can come out like a real big horror show and we can scare him into crying. Totally. <laughs> okay, so so you step back and he's, he, Crunch. he gives you this, I thought so, you rebel scum, and pulls the trigger. He pulls the trigger? He pulls the trigger and just blasters this female communications officer in the head point blank. And he's, he is sexist. You just see her go slack and her, her 
binders go tight to where all the others mm. are secured. Yeah. And people are just like, you monster! Quick, yeah. before he kills the rest of us, save us! Now the real question is, should I be willing to go in there now instead of worrying about the other two? So I'm going to go for their discipline check to see how scared the other two communications guys are. Mm -hmm. This could be good, this could be bad. If you would be pissing your pants, I'd be completely enraged. They do not succeed. They do not fail. <laughs> so, no successes and one threat. Literally, they start doing this whole panic, and they're just one's just like smacking the keyboard trying to get help, but they still haven't unencrypted it. And the other one just gets up and is running because it's just body. <laughs> and kind of like steps on the body and slips backwards in the blood that's now slowly pooling around it and falls backwards and he's prone on the ground. And they're just absolutely freaking terrified. <laughs> These are the techs. These are the last guys off the ship. These are the guys that don't fight. They're here to hack the radios and find out where the rebels are. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it, they just look ridiculous. So which one of you is going first? Um, you want me to kill the Imperial officer? Can you shoot him? I've I have, made a I have light a medium sight. Range. I have a medium range weapon. Yeah, I made a light yeah. sight, so. You want to take that shot? Better success than I'm getting right now. Okay, then, so I guess I'll move into position to shoot him. Okay, so you're moving in closer, so it's just short range, so it's only one purple? Or two two purple at medium range? Uh, can we? So you guys? So you can get a extra whatever? So I'll do, I'm moving close enough to where I'm doing it at short range. Okay, so just at the edge of short range to make life easier for your shot? Yep, and then I guess we can do that just so we can guarantee I blow his face off. Uh, okay. And then you said one purple? Uh, it's one purple, short range, yep. The guns are deadly. Anything negative happening before I roll? Nope, you flipped it so I can't touch it. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that's why she wanted to flip it. Yeah. Well, that and there was one open one, though. Oh, no, but we can only do one flip per action. Oh, okay. So, so, this action of you shooting, she flips before I can flip. Uh -huh. Okay, and so, time to blow off the face of this and So, you whip your heavy blaster pistol, you line up the sight just shy of her photoreceptors. <laughs> you realize that she set this shot up for you. Mm -hmm. So, I have a success and an advantage. Okay, how would you like to spend the advantage? Uh, you could give the next one of your team a blue dice, or give the next one of them a black dice. How bad is he looking at the moment as I'm firing this trigger? As he, before you do damage, he looks like this was just a flesh wound when she shot him. So I'm going to spend the one to actually activate the weapon quality. The, does it, I don't think your blaster has one. That's if you have like burn or burst. Oh, you're right, never mind. Oh no, that's not what I was in for. It was inflict a critical injury with a successful attack that deals damage past soak. Yeah, that's if your crit is one. I think the crit on those is what, three? Uh, the crit? Uh, It'd be the three advantage symbols. Oh uh, yeah, it says cost me very so yeah, you're right. Yeah. So... How much strain have you accumulated? Three? No, five. You're not five, but I have eleven strain. Oh, uh, so you... Getting strain back is always the best thing for you. Yeah, so I'm going to give it to you so you can get back well, some Well, no, it would be your strength, not yeah. hers. Oh. So you could give her a blue dice, a bonus, basically. When you took your shot, you set it up so that she could follow up with another shot if need be. Okay, then so yeah. So the next okay. friendly player to go, which happens to be her, yes. would get a blue dice. So basically, you did, you're you doing this whole teamwork shooting trick where you shoot and then she follows up with her shot. Yeah. So what was your damage? So my damage for the heavy blaster pistol is seven. So seven, so you and you got one success? Yep. So eight points. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because he's still on his feet. He's, he's looking pretty good. I shoot at him again. Okay, we'll take your shot. Okay, shooting. He's giving you a blue your partner's giving you a blue dice. Mm -hmm. And it's at just one purple. Okay. Are you aiming? You're not moving, you might as well. Oh you already got well he gave you a blue dice. So oh. if you aim you get another blue dice. Yes. There you go. Why not if you're not moving? Wow. I think you can crit with that weapon. <laughs> yeah. Check your weapon. What's your weapon's crit? Three. Three? Okay. So you've got two successes and five advantages. So what's your weapon's damage? Six. Six? So yeah, he's definitely still alive. You have five advantages to spend. What? You look how much hit points you have. You have twelve. So now you can choose to critic. 
crit him, plus still have two to get back some of your strain. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Are you gonna do that? I wanna do that. Is he moving still? Like he he seems to still be on his feet. If he re- I would definitely say your follow-up shot definitely makes him look as if he is bloody, would be the term in D D for half-life. Okay. So, so what you're gonna wanna do is strain strain crit. So how many am I getting rid of? What's your crit in your gun? Three. Three? So spend three of your advantage and roll those percentile. Higher is better. This is your crit that you're doing to him. Yep, just roll them. Yep. 28. So what you did to him was a discouraging wound. We flip one light side point to dark side, which by the way, for my guys, it's opposite. So basically, you shot him in such a way that it's this, he's got his hand on the wound, and it looks it looks worse than it really is. Mm-hmm. But basically, it's it's motivating you guys. Yeah. It's it's inspiring you guys. Okay. The rebels are like, yeah. And then you still have two advantage if you want to recover two strength. Okay. I so, got a lot of strength for me to use. So he, <laughs> he's he's got blaster shots all through. He's got this hand on this horrible, discouraging wound. Is he's like lining up his pistol on the next draw on the next hostage? Because he's like they're not stopping, and he's debating. He's debating between shooting you or shooting a hostage. You're the one with the moral conscience here. Oh, and then he turns his enough. blaster on you. Okay. He's he's gonna shoot at you. Okay. Oh, he doesn't shoot at the big monstrosity covered in blood. He doesn't see you yet. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, he's, he's thinking she's sprouting bullets, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> as, as it's this, amazing. I'm this big old drug. People never see me. Hey, good. <laughs> That's what you get for being shiny and grown. Yeah, it is. So you know what? You critted him. He's going to crit you back. Okay. Ooh. So he's hitting you for six points, seven points of damage. So, so seven two. damage. Wait, but I have soak, right? Yeah. So, so what's seven minus five? Two. Yep. So, so he's going to hit you for a crit. Where'd you put those percent? One. So he hits you, so you're going to want to mark on this part of your character sheet. Over here? Okay. Yep. It's a one purple, so just shade in one of those little diamonds. And for a 17, it is distracted. The target cannot perform a free maneuver during your next turn. Okay. So you know normally you action and maneuver, you lose that free maneuver because he's like, you shot me! <laughs> so, and that can be repaired with a easy mechanics roll. Okay. So if someone has mechanics, they would just, that's why you shade in the one purple, so you know how difficult it is to heal it. I, I mean, I have. Yeah, so if you were at a place where you could do it, you yeah. could fix yourself possible. Well, if we fix oh, this situation. We have the droid that's got the parts. <laughs> Start pulling parts out. <laughs> Be chrome and red. And he's gonna give he's gonna give you a black die in your next action. Okay. Specifically picking you to have a black die. Yeah, I'm the only one he sees right now. Oh, I except for five. Well, All of a sudden his eyes focus just past you and he realizes, oh shit, there's a second one. Yep. Yeah. Oh uh, okay. yes. The difference is that my next turn, I'm gonna go in and hit him. Go for it. So it's He's killed someone. It's now <laughs> the podunk guy's turn. They're gonna actually shoot at you. Well, yeah. Oh, you're this the is, threat. Last time somebody shot at me, it got funny. Yeah, it was funny. They're panic firing at this point. Ooh. Wow. Bless <laughs> you. <laughs> is that a sneeze? A cough? What was that? that? A cough. Okay. And yeah, I'll laugh at the same time. So they hit you for eight points before soap. As they're just pew 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 pew, pew panic so, fire. A one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> they took off a little bit more by painting my armor plating. <laughs> okay, so which one of you is going first? You want to go first? Oh, oh. You're okay, okay, then I'm going to go in and murder the Imperial Bastard. Yes. Okay, you're, you're walking right past her to go hand to hand with him? Yes. Okay, so it's two purple. Might as well try to scare the shit out of him, right? Let's put it this way I'm walking at him, I'm this big black robot with. Blood, imperial markings, and a scorch mark from a droid. I think I cut a pretty intimidating figure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've got a blood-covered hand with the blades coming out of again, and it's like, yes. okay, that's kind of okay. I want him. As while going into this, just because I want to make sure I kill him. Yeah. I'm gonna flip one of these to give me another yellow. Yay! <laughs> because you saw the distract, the scourging wound he has. You're just gonna put your knife right into it and go up. <laughs> yes, I'm also planning on taking his head to scare the other two to keep them from shooting me. I like going horrific if I'm in a... You're gonna do it, you're gonna own that shit. Yes. Good. 
Let's put it this way. I am intrigued. And only ever, ever understand it either. It's in your base, Cody. I know, actually. <laughs> when you were stolen from the Imperial Corps, so it's still there. Uh, so, yeah, basically that just... Ah, oh, that's funny. So I got a success and two advantage. Okay, so what would you like to do for the two advantage? Oh, what can I do? Recovery strain is always a good thing. Strain time up? I haven't used that much. Ah. Yeah. What's the crit of your knife? Unfortunately, three. Okay. Yeah, most of my crap's three. The only one that isn't is the stun club. <laughs> Which, I actually could have used that. And it has some similar effect, but I like the violence. Yeah. So, but I think, I, but since I can't really do much else, well, unless, I don't think I really have to activate Pierce, do I? No, Pierce, oh, that's good to know. Pierce means it armor soaks one last point of damage. That's good to know. That's a freebie. That's a, that's a passive thing that always works. But always tell me if you have a weapon Pierce. Because that basically means it does one more point of damage. Because okay. it ignores one point of soak. Alright then, so since I know that, I will recover some of my strain. Okay, so what's the damage of your weapon? Oh, strain. <laughs> uh, so the damage of my weapon is five. So five with pierce of one, so the five basically, you know, ignores... Because he's got a soak of four, so you would have only done one point of damage. But with pierce one, you do two points of damage. Mm. So you go in there and he like does this combat move where he kind of like jukes to the side and you like rip the tunic wide open with a small line of blood and he's like, whoa! And I have a feeling the rebels are probably not enjoying this. Like, <laughs> the sad thing is on. he's wearing a rebel armor which is what's been helping the padded armor with the soak and it's like, damn it! You damn droids! <laughs> to be quite honest, it must be really something interesting to see. Big old droid. Rebel markings painted on long side or over the Imperial markings, plus the scorch mark, plus the blood. I just look like something perfect for an Imperial terror poster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and so he's immediately like, oh shit, I'm in a small room with two murder droids and one's got a dagger, one's an Imperial murder droid. <laughs> he, he, he's got the shit scared out of him right now. He doesn't have really much that he can do. Except for he reaches in, he drops the pistol. Ah, uh, here we go. And reaches into his belt and pulls out a tiny comm unit. Mm. The rebels are in the primary communications room! You must stop them! They've got droids! I think he hasn't realized that we're the only two here so far. Yeah. Beware! The droids are combat units! STOLEN IMPERIAL PROPERTY! Because you're actually terrifying him when he sees a KX unit come walking in. <laughs> and, and pretty much that's his turn as he's screaming into the radio, talk, you know, that, that it, you, we need reinforcements. Send all the stormtroopers! <laughs> Beware the droids. Out of curiosity, since I'm figuring that as droids we have some basic tactical analysis, do I notice him having any, like, do I notice any grenades in the immediate area? No. So the, you know for a that. fact most of the most of the hard ordnance would would be stored in weapons lockers. As a matter of fact, you do know how to get to the weapons lockers because that's your job. Well, too bad we didn't stop there before we came here. Then we could have blown this up and saved ourselves some effort. Well, hindsight. Yep. Well, you know, pretty much any of these techs could probably do what you guys need to do to the communications. Yeah. So the other two are running scared. Mm -hmm. You might want to grab the one. One of the people that can help us out of the room. So, so top of the order of initiative, these two guys are scrambling to the lift. They are scrambling into the lift and they are hitting the button. I say let them go, let them terrify the other people. As the lift just, All right. as the astromex bouncing. Yep. Uh, and he thought, his eyes just got huge when he realized that the last two techs have left the comm room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so who's going first? Well, I can probably. To be quite honest, I could actually probably do quite a bit here because now I can sort of do a little bit this stage. Except instead yeah. of pistols, knife, stun club. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can work on getting the other guys out yeah. so we can start getting the job done. Yeah. Because we've had a lot of fun so far, but now it's time for work. Yep. Okay, so you're going to go first? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So dual wielding. So, so it's basically orders. going to be your melee plus. It's, so it's going to be three purple. Yep. And which one's your primary weapon? 
So we know which one hits regardless. So my primary weapon, so the stun club is better, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yep. But the dice pool for you guys, ain't it? Yep. So, so it's going to be the dice pool of one yep. against three purple. We're going to be with the... Apparently not. So strangely enough, I actually got five success but four threats. So immediately you whip out your knife and your stun club and you got five successes. So you bring that stun club down. What's what's the damage for your stun club? Seven. Seven. And you just heard this six. It's also got disorient too. Which means he, he would have two black dice. He would have a black dice added for the next two rounds if he was still alive. <laughs> and so the stun club does its bit and it jolts him, and his head collapses in. Nice. Damn, there's nothing for me to tie to my shoulder. And he just drops to his knees as you realize you're like you were following up with a knife, but you're just kind of like, woof in the air missing. But you immediately realize your stun club shorts out. Damn. That's oh. what I'm gonna use three. Your threat four was that, but you had five threat. Four. Four. Four threat. Okay, so go ahead and take a point of strain as you did that. Because all of a sudden, this electric jolt, when you, <laughs> when you crushed his skull, the juice hit your hand and carried the jolt back with it. So I have a feeling my weapon's not damaged. It needs to be repaired for it to work again. Oh, well. But your knife is fine. We can find work for, to do that for later. Yeah. Which, by the way, sorry if my character sounds a little bit morbid, but one of my favorite 40k fractions is knife wars. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what that is... Terror tactics is their specialty, and one of the things that they're good for is that they like to cut off limbs of their enemies and hang them as trophies from their armor. And, and immediately, you you don't know which tech, but one of the techs just immediately leans over and bleh, yeah. it just hurls. <laughs> and I as just start laughing. sunken head hits the floor and she breaks the seal and just juice everywhere. <laughs> At this point, I just start laughing. And go ahead, are, now are you going to like do a mechanical roll or an athletics, like break the pole that they're handcuffed to? Break the pole. Okay, give me an athletics roll. It's going to be against three purple. Oh, dear God. Hey, this part was not meant to be broken. <laughs> Mechanics just would have been average. <laughs> yeah, but they can help us if I can break it. Yeah. So. And Captain did say he wants the rebels. Oh, if we can get them out. Yeah. So, protocol, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're following orders. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Are we still do. doing things in turn order? Is this just doing random stuff now? Uh, mostly in turn order, but pretty much wraps, it's, it's wrapping up out of, out of initiative. So, what'd you get? No, no, no. Well, that. take your successes. So. And take your failures. And take your failures. And so, then take your advantages. <laughs> So you have one success okay. and one threat. Okay. So immediately you grab this this pipe and you pull it off the roof. And immediately some like steam comes blasting out and it hits all of the tr the, the, the text. Okay. And you can tell it's obviously uncomfortable for them because they're screaming and it's some kind of excitedness, probably from the crushed skull you're assuming. <laughs> you know, you don't realize your hand is warming up to about 120 degrees from the steam as you're pulling uh, the pipe down. Okay. And you, you've broken them free, but the, the hot steam is blasting them. Okay. I'm going to grab the two nearest to me and start dragging them out. Okay, so you, you guys are pulling them out, and they're immediately, they are competent techs, they are jumping over, and they look at you, and they're like, order, sir, because they point to the body, and you realize that the dead person yeah. was the officer, the communications officer. Mm. <laughs> and they know you're the captain's protocol droid, yeah. so it's like, order, sir. They all probably don't even want to look at me. No! <laughs> no, no. Um, especially the, the little guy that puked. <laughs> He's buddy. got a bib of vomit on his uniform. Poor buddy. Um, we need to send out a message to the other rebels. Warn the rebel fleet that their location is not secure. Mm -hmm. And then blow this place up. And then, uh, are you saying blow it up? Or are you saying sabotage the communication so they can't be used? Sabotage it. Okay. And they're like, yes, sir, sir. And give me a leadership role. Because I believe you actually have that. You do have that. And it's going to be against, it's going to be against two purple. This is just you giving them great concise orders to help bolster their abilities and make them work extra, extra effort each. Nope. You 
you kind of babble out some stuff and throw the captain's orders that we're supposed to scuttle the ship. What? <laughs> but you do also tell them that they're supposed to send the, the SOS message if mm -hmm. anyone can get to the secondary communications, which you know is the next nearest place to get to. Yeah. So basically, they're all like, okay, you're going to retake the ship. Good luck. Is they're all jumping on the controls, sending out the message, yeah. and they're basically broadcasting messages. And you can see each one sending out a message to a rebel base that's in the computer. Yeah. And then they're pulling out a red painted data stick, jacking it in there, and you just see smoke coming out of the nice. port. All right. And then I tell them as we're finishing up in this particular room, everybody make to the escape pods except for the one who's going to help us do whatever in secondary communications. Okay. So the guy who puked is like, I, I need to make up for my bed, bed. The posture, sir. I'll come with you. Okay. Lieutenant Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and secondary communications, it's only a quick turbo lift. He pushes the turbo lift button. Oh. Okay, so they're doing their job. They're sabotaging as they go, and then you guys told them to get to the life pods afterwards. Yep. Okay, so you guys getting ready to get on the, the lift when the next lift comes up. Thankfully, they keep coming and coming. Yeah. yeah. Same one again. Cool. Oh, is the droid still in there? Nope, different, different lift. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> so you guys get in the lift, you hit the button, and it's like a tenth of a second before you pop up to the next level. Door opens up, and there seems to be no one there except for a protocol droid and an astromech droid. Imperial markings? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> It's that Take protocol out, droid with the big bug eyes. Yeah. Ooh, Take battle out. bots all over again. Take okay. them out. Me and the dude are going to go to the communications. Oh, good. I get all the things. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, this is secondary communications. Yeah. Yeah. Take them out. We're going to deal with communications. So basically, okay. she's saying she and the other guy are going to run through their thing. I'm going to do some battle royale robot rumbles. If you can, I'm going to protect. Let's put this oh, if there's a protect the if, You're gonna protect Jenkins. <laughs> yes. If there was a if there was a rancor here, it'd be a different story. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah. Since it's just robots. Yeah. <laughs> so immediately, you guys, you know, you got get you, you get the drop on them. They seem to be talking in binary words. Basically, the protocol droid is chastising him for you need to find those droids that we've been told about on the ship. So I'm gonna kill the protocol droid first. <laughs> okay. So you're 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 going up on you're just. You're just going to run out there berserker style and go for straight for the attack, or do you want to waste a turn sneaking up on him? Attempting to sneak up on him. You want to do sneak? No. <laughs> Don't. We so already have I'm not the gonna, alarm going. I'm not going to make an effort to make a whole bunch of noise, but I am going to the actual? Going to attack. I'm not going to thunder the barbarian now. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. So go for it. You're going to go up. It's going to be two purple. Okay. Uh... So I've got my bunch dagger. So you're like pulling. The I've also got unarmed, which is good, which I could also do an extra die to do both. That way I get both pierce as well as knockdown. True. Knockdown is too too advantage to, to, to knock him down. On the plus side, it would give you advantage to, to wail on him when he's knocked down. When he, yeah, ooh. but I've also got the astronaut right there. Yeah. Or you could, you could uh, take your pistol out and do both. <laughs> Oh, sh I can attack both at the same time? Duel. You, when you do a wield, you can you can decide to split your attacks. Okay, then. I will do that. Punch okay. dagger for the pro protocol. Uh, yep, yeah, pro punch dagger for the protocol droid. Pistol for the astromech. Okay, so the punch dagger is your main attack, and then the pistol is your secondary attack. Yep. So and which one has the worst dice pull? <laughs> pistol. <laughs> That's the one you'll go with, with three purple. Yeah, we'll pistol. So, yeah. Because yeah. you're just... <laughs> Actually, it looks like I didn't do too bad. I was hoping for a try. <laughs> so, I actually have to do that here for a minute. So, there's these here are gone. So, it looks like I've got one success and one threat. Ooh. So, you immediately come out there and you, you stab into the protocol droid. So, for how much damage? For the protocol droid, uh, regular damage for the punch dagger is five. Five, so six. With one pierce. With, oh, with one pierce. That's good to know, because that's one extra point of damage. So. Uh, don't try out yet. Okay, so you come up and you just shank into his, his shoulder blade section and pull your dagger out. He's, he's still kicking, though. You can tell that uh, he, he soaked a lot of that damage, even with the pierce. Mm -hmm. 
He's tough. He's a droid. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're a protocol droid. You absorb quite a bit. Yeah, and all of a sudden, your pistol shot just ends up really wild. It hits into the counter in front of the, the astromech, and it goes, as if, you know, it does that R2 squeal of like, what the hell? As this little probe is in there doing its thing. So you're based, what orders are you giving your communications guy? Um, so we're just supposed to destroy the communications, or are we? Well, that's what you're doing down below. In this room, you're supposed to be, in the secondary communications, is issued the abandoned ship order. Yeah. So that any free members can at least try to escape. Uh, yeah. so Oh, never mind, I just really I just forgot something on my combat skills tree. What's up? That the combat skills for like brawl and melee mm -hmm. match what it is on my dice pool. Didn't know. Oh. Yeah, because apparently for both brawl and melee, it's two yellow and two green. The same goes for my punch dagger, my stun glove, and my unarmed. Uh huh. I just realized, so this is just, here's just an extra correlation. Yep, this. it basically just puts it at the bottom so it's easier to see when you're doing just your weapons. Mm. So, you, you're basically ordered for him to issue the abandoned ship. What are you doing while he's doing that? Giving orders? Or the, just send out... How about try shooting? You gotta call him. Really. You can shoot, you can oh, shoot that, still. Yeah. You're, that, you're basically you bodyguarding him. You're like, get, issue the or, orders. Yeah, or, better yeah, yeah, yeah. yet, since the astromech can direct interface, shoot the astromech. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. I wanted to shoot him like... Astromechs okay. are jerks. Astromechs are jerks. That's what they are. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to shoot R2-D2. He's the biggest of them all. Look at that vulgar little guy. Uh, I think the worst jerk of an astromech they ever had, though, was R5. Yeah. Um, this, yeah, gold. Yeah. E. Total douchebag droid. Yeah. E. Okay. And it's going to be against one purple for short. Oh, and you're going to upgrade, so it's all dark side. Yeah, so go ahead and take the yellow. Yeah. One of my favorite droids are from the series is the I-88s. Yeah, mm -hmm. but they actually brought those back. Just mm -hmm. one? Yep, just one. Okay. Because I want the whole IG-88 story to go you know, out. Because mm -hmm. that needs to be canon, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Wow, you actually did really good. Yeah, so two successes and two advantages. What's your uh, weapons damage? Uh, six. Six, so seven, eight points of damage. Okay, and what would you have to do with the two advantage? Uh, can I give him one? Yeah, you can. Or... You can give the next player on your side a blue, and the next bad guy to go a black. Yeah. Or you can specifically say, "I'm giving you a blue," which you, you should probably just say the next player. The next player. Okay. Blue. So because all of a sudden you're shooting distracting shots into the astromex, you know, carapace. Yeah. Okay, so the next one of you guys to go gets blue, and the next one of them to go gets black. Awesome. Okay, so everybody go ahead and roll initiative, because now that you've actually burst out and started blasting this place, let's find out who's got what initiative. Uh, crap. Ooh, I rolled really well. I got a triumph and two advantages. I rolled nothing. Wait, we only roll one of these? Or... Yeah. Yep. Okay. So what'd you get? Nothing. Nothing. What'd you get? Success. Just one success? Yeah. Just one? I only rolled one. Well, you can get doubles. Ow, oh, what? The greens have a double on them. Big doubles. Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Only one. Okay, so it's going to be NPC. If you want to roll a freaking triumph. Yeah. Then we've got a PC. Mm -hmm. Then we have an NPC. Then we have a player character. Mm -hmm. So, the first one to go is going to be the protocol droid. Okay. <laughs> Who's going to turn around at you, and all of a sudden you notice his Receptors turn from yellow to a dark red, and he does this whole shink with the knife himself. It's an espionage model of a protocol droid. Uh, and he's going to try to shank you. Shank you. Shank you very much. <laughs> and well, he's going to shank anything like mine. It's not, I'm not trying well, to we'll find it. out. So, not the best roll. Turns that to that, but. I have got one success and three advantages. Ooh. And what's that crit again? Three. Yeah. Is so, it the same thing a punch dagger? Well, it's the equivalent. He's, he's the same espionage type that I decided to make, build your guy up to. <laughs> so it's going to be for six points of damage, piercing a one. 
So six points with a piercing of one. So it's going to ignore one of your, your armor. Six points of damage. Which means, which <laughs> it does means absolutely nothing. Well, what's your armor? Seven. Yeah. So never mind the crit because it doesn't do one point of damage. Yeah. So he hits you with his piercing knife, and you just see it's all superficial scratch. He's it's like forged in fire. He's pulling his knife back, and it's got your paint on the knife edge. That's it. And he's like, <laughs> I got lucky on that one. Yeah. <laughs> One extra success, and I could have cut you. Could have cut, <laughs> cut you with a crit, but no. <laughs> okay, and he, lucky. and he basically yells at the astromech droid to try to lock down the computers. And the astromech droid is like, bloop, 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 bloop. It's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you got shot! <laughs> Thanks, me! Wow, the Imperials got more vulgar with their droids. Yeah. <laughs> So which one of you is going next? Um, well, do you want to shoot the astromech, or do you want me to beat up this guy? Shoot is the, astr the astromech the one we have to be concerned for? Yeah, because he's telling him to lock down the computers. Yeah, but I want to go in. I want to shoot him. Well, what? Or do you want me to shoot him? <laughs> You're closer. Plus, I've got the heavier blast pistol. You do have the heavier one. I will aim at protocol dude. All right, then, so, I'll, so uh, I think I'll go first if okay. you want me to have the extra blue die. Yeah. So that okay. way I'll shoot the astro mech, which means I'll be open up for another stabby from the protocol droid, but so far this has been very funny. Yeah. Okay. So, but... Oh, and, you're, and you're still engaged with him? So you're right there, or do you want to step back a little to, get, to only get one purple dice to shoot the astro mech? Uh, I'll stick back one to do the one okay. the purple So you step back one step, so that way you're, you, you lose that... One extra purple, so it's just one purple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, unfortunately, I can't aim on this whole stress. Unless you want the strain, yeah. You could take the two strain to aim. You can't. You. I'll take the two strain to aim. Okay. Yeah. You take that tenth of a second and that strain to line up your blaster with one of his photoreceptors. This is giving you the stink eye. So I forgot what exactly does aiming do again? Uh, it adds another. It gives you a blue dice. So you should have two blue dice. You have two in there. Yep. Yes. That'd be funny if I shoot him and just explode. <laughs> this this could happen. <laughs> so this is kind of funny. So these two just run by each other. They shoot the squat. I got one success and two um advantage. Yeah, two advantage. Okay. So what would you like to do for your two advantage and how much damage is that? Uh, so I'm actually going to use my to advantage to give her blue die on her next turn. Okay. You're okay. super distracting the flash way you're shooting the astromech. Yep. And then I think that's it for that. And as for the astromech, the damage from my heavy blast pistol is seven. Seven? Okay, so eight points. So he is not looking good at all. He's just like <laughs> As you just see him like grinding sounds when he's turning around his gl his globe. He, he is almost on his last point. Actually, he's literally on his last point. <laughs> he is just, compartments are opening and closing, and smoke is ventilating out of them, and he's just like, fire suppression, please. And sadly, it's his turn. It's, it's his little turn. <laughs> it's his little turn. So he has a black die. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to lock up the computers, which currently is upgraded because they haven't unlocked them yet against his skill. No bother that. Okay. So he's gonna oh, try to the other just in case. Oh. Yeah that way it doesn't get confused. I use small spill. Yeah. He got a despair. Yay. And he got a triumph. No. <laughs> and he got two successes and a threat. So this little poor guy Jack's in there. The despair I'm going to give him that he's activating the anti-tampering feature, which basically it's that thing when R2 Jackson and lightning comes shooting through, which his dome explodes the rest of the way. You just see parts fly. Okay. As, as that, that is the despair. He succeeded in locking it down because he was locking it down when it shorted it out and kind of burns out half the consoles. And then we brought Peggy with us. Yep. And for the 
triumph that happens. As soon as you guys are you know, doing your thing and you're all in position, this thing explodes, you're all looking at the rings of smoke coming down. The turbo lift stops and the door opens up. And two really large stormtroopers step out really quick with their blasters at the ready. Okay. And let's go ahead and roll for their initiative. Their initiative. Sucks. You're really yellow for their initiative? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they're at the bottom of the order. But not this turn. This is when they're just stepping out of the, the lift. Of, they, they got that message for send help. So they, this is the first place they stopped off because they... The elevator rocked and they hit the stop button. Because <laughs> despair sucks and triumph is awesome. <laughs> Depending who rolls it. Yeah. So the astromech is gone. He exploded. It looks like an awesome blossom flower <laughs> with two little legs holding him up. Nice. Okay, so uh, that was the uh, bottom of the order. I can see why you picked this one. Actually, this is the room they gave me. Was the Star Wars room? Usually, we get the room next door. See, I actually brought the laptop to bring up on the big screen the blow up I had of the ship. Nice. Just in case. Nice. Or the screen crawl because I think there's a site you can view screen crawls. All right, so it's my turn now. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we might have to take care of the zoom droid. Or the protocol droid. We can take care. Or we can do all of them at once. Pick up protocol droid. Shove them over towards the stormtroopers, back into the lift, hit the lift button, and watch them go. Is that even That, by the way, would be a coordination roll. It's an, an actual skill coordination for you to reach in and hit the button and pull your hand up before the door cuts it off. Yep. You're droids. Yep. You're <laughs> droids, so if your hand gets cut off, it's not so bad. Yeah, I can just replace it after all, dude. Hopefully I had another piece of protocol that was like that. I'm sorry, Captain, you don't recognize me. My arm is red. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but it's my turn now, yep. right? So what are you gonna do? Um is that what you wanna do on your next turn? Because there's an NPC next. Well you well you protect the NPC. Uh do you, what do you think is necessary to protect He's him? gonna do his thing at the very bottom of the order, so you don't have to worry about him. Okay. Less likely to get shot. Yeah. Um I wanna kill a protocol. Kill the protocol droid, go for it. Yeah, so more damage he is when I throw him into the elevator. The Especially since be. the protocol droid is only taking three points of damage. Yeah. Okay, He's so just got one little puncture hole in his backside. Just these guys and the purples, right? Yep. So you're gonna, are you going to get closer to him or shoot him from across the room? Cross just them. close enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And are you aiming? Uh, you had oh, a, that's a bonus. Yeah. That's, that's from the buddy setting up the... Yes, okay, go for it. Uh, that's a lot. So either one of those blues will take the purple out. Okay. And two successes, three advantage. What's the crit on your blast rate? Three. That's three. If you wanted to crit, so what's the damage of your blast rate? Six. Six? Okay. So if I want to crit, what does that mean? So if you want to crit, you would pick up the percentile, spend your three advantage to crit, and roll on that. Yep. Yeah. Sure, why not? You obviously crit a lot. It's that tactical programming you were downloaded with. Yeah. Always shoot the soft spots. Uh, a nine. So currently he is slowed down. The target can only act during the last allied initiative slot on his turn. Wait. So you must have hit him. Double zero is a zero. Is zero. Yeah. Okay. So if you would have rolled... That's a hundred. Good rules. All oh, that's a hundred. Yeah. Got it. Perfect. So you basically hit him in his motivator. He now has a bad motivator and is slowed down, so he's acting last in initiative. Yay! Which is good because he was acting first in initiative. So now he's the last. Yay! Which means now I have a greater chance of throwing him into the thing of the stormtroopers and potentially lose my hand in the process. So <laughs> top of the order, that we'll say that slot's gone since he's no longer acting in that slot and his, his astromech is dead. So which one of you is going first? It'll be me. Okay, so what are you going to do? Exactly what I said. I'm going to pick up the protocol droid, shove him into the stormtroopers, into the lift, push the button, and hopefully don't lose my hand. Okay, it's going to be an athletics against two purple. That's his athletics. Really great. He, as he struggles against you going, no, what are you doing? He said two purple? <laughs> two purple, yeah. 
So, so I got three advantage on that. So somehow when you grabbed him, he just squirmed just right that he squiggled out of your arms. Metal on metal, man. When two pieces of metal try to catch each other, there's this horrendous scraping sound of metal on metal. Mm -hmm. As he just slithers free because it's the blood on your hand. It's like oil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's super slick when it's on metal. Like, oh, that's true. A knife when you've got blood in your hand? Yeah, that's true. Okay, and he squiggles out of your hands, but you have three advantage. So how would you like to spend those? You could have an ally make a free movement. Um, actually, I'm going to make one of the stormtroopers drop their weapons. Okay, so all of a sudden, one of the guy, troopers, they're both, you know, at the end of initiative, they're stepping out, and they're seeing this bot wars going on, and the guy just like, what? Drop, and just nonchalantly steps out, and Blaster falls to the floor for almost no reason other than he's not sure what he's seeing, seeing an Imperial droid rip one of the protocol spy droids apart. He's like, I didn't even know we brought one of those monsters, but they still give me nightmares. <laughs> Okay, so, so I got us a turn. <laughs> Yay! So the protocol droid is immediately going to try to run past you, and he kind of waves his ends in the air, like he don't care, <laughs> and he's saying, "They're rebels! They're rebels! Bless them! Bless them!" And he's kind of running towards your NPC, by the way, who's busy doing. Okay. Just to let you know that he's he's going towards the tech at the. Computer. Time for a rock'em sock'em robot. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I want to punch him. And he's telling those stormtroopers to clearly blast you. Pick up your rifle, you fool! Okay. So, top of the order. Whichever one of you. It's coming towards Wait a second. Because I have the fact that I just went? Or. Well, I don't know. Wait a That's just got kind of strange because the protocol droid went to the last in initiative. The stormtroopers don't get to go this round. Oh, they, so that was them coming out and dropping the rifle. But did we skip our last turn then? Well, did you shoot the protocol droid? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. And then you tried to pick him up, and he, he slipped out of your grasp. And then his thing was to his go, turn was uh, to say shoot him. I'm sorry. It's because we're now missing the astronaut in the order, and yeah. he was the last slot. Sorry, I just no, it's okay. So now it's basically going to be one of you stormtroopers, one of you him. Yeah. Which one should I take on? I want to take on the storm. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we need to protect Crushy at all costs. So. so, I guess I'll shoot the protocol droid. Okay, because he is coming at my guy. Yeah, he is coming at your guy. You have a sense that he is going to go shank the guy in the back of the neck because the guy's just wearing padded armor. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. so, as he's running by, you're, you've got the knife still in play. Uh, is he still really close to me? Yeah, you can still get a shot off. So I, <laughs> so I'm just debating whether or not if I should just take the extra die for the punch dagger as well as to shoot him. Yeah, take one step. Because <laughs> if I shoot him right now, is it only just one purple die? Or it's two? just one purple die. However, if I decide to do both of them, it's two purple die. Yep. I'll do the two and exchange for one more. Okay, so so if you're going up to melee and shoot, it's three purple total. And you know what? We're gonna upgrade one of your purple, uh, just because I had three dark side points, and I gotta get you guys back on the board. Yeah. It's no fun when the economy stagnates. So you're saying that the odds are worth it? Did the odds for be in your favor? So, your opinion? Should I add an extra purple for an extra yellow, or should I stick with this? T Protocol droid does a tactical assessment. Uh-huh. Uh... Just leave it? Okay. So I'm just going to shoot him. Yeah. Okay. So you just line up the sight. You're going to aim. Yep. Okay. So <laughs> it's just one red dice you got in there? Yeah. Oh. Yep. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> just one red die. Okay then, so, oh, that goes away. So I got two successes with two advantage. 
Okay, so for your two successes, what's the da damage of your weapon? Seven. Seven, so eight, nine. And, okay. So you know something bad's about to happen with this protocol droid, but I'll let you finish what you're saying. So I will add one black die to the them? protocol droids next. We'll, we'll just say them because he's not having any next. He's not having a next? Oh, is he dead? He, he is smoking and landing at the feet of the stormtroopers as they're both looking down at him. Okay, and so I'll just have her going next. Okay. So I'd like to have her going next. <laughs> the distracted dead protocol droid is getting your attention. Yay! Because <laughs> that's what happens. Okay, so... Stormtroopers see the protocol droid fall dead at their feet. As they're obviously looking up at you. <laughs> the one guy looks at the other guy like, you gonna pick up your rifle? And while that guy bends over to pick up his rifle, the other one is lining his rifle up to take a shot at you with his carbine. Ooh, and immediately, you're great. looking at the carbine and going, Ooh, I want that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I love weapons. And the carbine is definitely an upgrade since it does 11 damage. Mm, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's, that's probably gonna hurt. <coughs> so it's going to be... This. <laughs> Oh, he's also got a black guy. No. Another? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew I paid that too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's look, aiming and taking the shot. Ooh. Either yeah, did really good or I'm really good. That takes out that. That takes out that. So he only has four advantages. <laughs> so he immediately takes his pot shot. And when he does, it kind of like nicks your pistol and makes your... You drop your pistol. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> and he's gonna give the next one of you guys to go a black die. Okay. Because he's just like, your gun, your gun drops. Honor the core. And the guy who picks up his rifle is taking a half step back in, in the lift and pushing the lift button to lock the lift. I don't care about that. I just know the person who shot me. It's what they mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Who's going next as I look at that person? Hi. Hi. Um, yeah. We, we go up, shoot, shoot the closer one. Shoot the one that's outside the lift? Yeah. Okay, they just took his gun out. Yeah. He's, he's a hard looking arm, right? right so. <laughs> his fancy stormtrooper armor that deflects blasts and lightsabers alike. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. One purple. Strangely enough, I actually found out what the stormtrooper armor does compared to but the stormtrooper armor. Mm hmm. Turns out, stormtroopers, it means where when they take a blaster shot, they're actually not, it's very rare for them to die from a blaster shot, because what it does is both the armor and the body suit they wear underneath disperses it, so it acts like a stun. Oh, okay. It takes a really powerful laser shot to actually be able to kill them. Problem is, they'll still knock them unconscious. Yeah, they, they still are knocked out. But hey, it, re mm -hmm. and it reduces the recruitment number at the interior, and you can just keep it up. I'm gonna say, the whole point of the armor is the shock and awe value. It's the same, the uniform. Yeah. But I found out that the clone trooper's armor had um, one other advantage, is that they could take a wound, it would go through, which means high likelihood of casualty. Mm -hmm. But if they survived it, it would react to the wound, which would mean they would bleed out less. So if you don't die immediately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what you got? I don't know, I'm still so don't do, know do that. Do. So this takes out this, this takes out this, and yeah. actually, no, those both have it, and that takes out that. So if it helps, what I always like to do is, so you can see, <clears throat> that takes out that. And that takes out that. Blue is good, the black is bad. Blue is good. Yep. So starburst gets taken out by triangles. Yep, and that red and that yellow take each other out. So you have a success and two advantage. Okay. I have a success. That's not like the So what's the, the damage of your weapon? Six. So six? Seven. Right? Okay, yep. So so if it's six, it does seven points, which you actually see a scratch go through his armor. Yay! Just a scratch. Wow, those are some heavily armored dudes. Yep. So what's your two advantage? What would you like to do with that? 
give, give him specifically a blue, or do you want to give the next one of your teammates a blue and we'll one of them a black? Next one of the teammates. You get more bang for your buck. If there's like five players, you'd want to specifically spend the two to give the right person the thing. Like, say you're giving the mechanic to fix the engine at the beautiful moment you need to fix. Yeah. But if you guys like this, just say next person, save yourself some advantage. Yeah. So a black and a blue. Yeah. Okay? So, stormtroopers did their thing, you did your thing. Mm -hmm. So we no longer have, it's literally you guys, then them, then you guys. So, who's going first? Well, if I go first, I can get the stormtroopers into a lift. That way we're stuck in melee fest. That and I can grab the weapon out of the guy's damn hand so I have some replacement blaster. <laughs> I like that. Okay. So what, you're going to try to charge him and knock him in the lift? Pretty much. Okay, give me an athletics roll. This you might have a problem with. This is going to be against a red and a purple. Oh, why is that? He likes sports. <laughs> he plays football. Here's the thing, though. So do I. Oh, plus, I get an extra blue. What, are you going to flip it? No, she gave me the advantage, remember? Yeah. But so, I think she's going to flip that, too, for you, so you get to upgrade one of your greens to a yellow. <laughs> that means I really got the advantage, Yeah, this is what I'm going with against, against this. Yeah. And, which, by the way, as I'm charging into him, I'm using my punch dagger. Right, well, no, you can no, either no. push him in the elevator or attack him. You can't do both. I'm going to push him into the elevator. Okay. Well, trying to I mean, it's punch against metal. Metal hurts. Yeah. Oh, yes, I know. I'm planning on bowling right into him, and hopefully we'll hit his other hand in the process. <laughs> His friend who's on his, getting ready to take a knee to shoot him around the corner. I'm gonna take a knee and make it harder to get shot back. Yeah, he shoots his friend right to the butt and he's coming down. <laughs> oh no! Let's take a look. So these two neutralize each other. Uh, these neutralize each other. So I got a four success and one advantage. Oh my god. So Yay! yeah, immediately, you, from your point of view, you just see him bull rush in there, lock his arms, and just slam both the troopers against the wall in the elevator, in the lift. Now the lift is still locked. Did you want to, on your turn, go in and push the button with them? Or just, just, just so give me something to think about. As how's, you're in there... she do it? Well, she's doing his thing. He's setting out the... Well, here's the thing, oh. though. The good thing about this is it means they're too close to really shoot me, which means they're forced into melee, which means I don't have to worry about really being shot that much. True. Which also means that on my next turn, I can get out, then you can press the button. Okay. I want, I want to protect Bushy. So, okay. So, so you're possibly leaving him to get disappeared from you and separated? No. Okay, if I can get the stormtrooper that wants to kill me into the lift. They're both in the lift. They're both in yeah. the lift. Yeah, he pushed the one that, that's what I'm saying, is you uh, saw him go charging, and the guy's like, oh, and slams and disappeared. They all disappear into the lift. Oh. And you hear crunching noises. There's two troopers and a droid pile drive into the lift. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So. If you um, can, try to get their weapons. <laughs> well, their weapons are in the lift with them. Yeah. Oh, I know that, but hopefully they've dropped them. <laughs> Oh, oh no, they still have their guns. They're like defensively like, ah. Um, I, I want to get into the lift. I also want to tell our fleshy friend to just finish the job and leave. Okay. So so basically, it's going to be the troopers' turns as you've smashed them all over. Oh, there. wait a second. That just made me think of something. So there's nobody else in there. It's just the fleshy guy and then us two and then the rest of us are in the lift. Yeah. So if you jump into the lift, mm -hmm. press the button, we all can go, leave him to doing his job and yeah. it's done. And then we can continue on with the rest of our mission, which is yeah. to blow the ship. So yeah. the, the main trooper that you pile drive, you see, is for, he does, he's got the rifle in his hand, and he's reaching down his boot to pull out, which you know, tactically speaking, they always have a combat knife in their boot. Yeah. And he's just trying to give you that whole rib tickle rib with the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how it's got good for everybody else who's trying to bail me. Yeah. So I just walk in, right, and then un I don't have to roll anything. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's their turn first. They're just giving you the okay. idea of that that's something you might want to do. Well, I thought our turns came first beforehand. Or it's They're one, in between. one, one, one. It's, it's you guys, them, then you guys. Oh, okay. I'm confused. Oh, well. That's it's okay. <laughs> it's because we've now changed two of their positions off the map. It yes. was. We're going well, each other. I don't think my robots had the best memory. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's swinging his dagger kind of blindly in your ribcage. And he Water gets one cage. advantage, because he missed by a mile. 
<laughs> so you, you, you sense that he's swinging his dagger around your side here somewhere, but you can't feel it, so you don't know where it is. I hear the dinging. <laughs> and he's giving you a black dice in your next action. Or whichever one of you goes next, which I think Can is you good. do that with only one advantage? Yep, you can give the next play, the next person. I thought you needed two to do that. That's to specifically give somebody. Basically, it means she's going to get a black. So you're going to run in the L of the lift and hit the button? Well, That's screaming at my buddy. So what floor are you going to? What floor are you going to? You do know, tactically speaking, you do have other goals here. Like, there yeah. is the, le- there is the, uh, the bridge. bridge, if you want to go all the way up to the bridge. There's the forward hangar that you were told to deactivate these vehicles. I think the bridge would probably be the smarter place to go now, though. For what are we doing? For the the bridge? bridge? Yeah. Is the that is that thing? so? Well, the you tell me. You tell me where you're gonna hit the button to go to, and we'll take a quick break because okay. it's probably restroom drink time. Yeah. Because I know I'm out of drink. Yeah. Same. So we'll take a quick break, get drinks, and you tell me whether you're heading to the bridge, which is like the the, the big showdown, probably because you probably think the big bad is in the bridge. Yeah. Well, we don't really have to assassinate him because if we can get to the hangar bay, find a thing that can fit two droids, we can fly out. <laughs> Blowing up the, the hangar as we go, go to the rear hangar, go to the engine compartment, overload the engines, and blow up the whole ship. You gonna kill all the organics? What? Well, <laughs> we, we already have the one guy sending out the signal to abandon ship. Uh huh. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And feel free to enjoy our other shows, such as D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition and Scion Ragnarok and Roll, a Scion hero to Ragnarok story. Thank you for listening.